9 to 12. For Real Talk, the show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. Indeed, good night, good night, good night to all my beautiful, avid, oh boy, devoted listeners out there in Radio Land. Welcome to another Real Talk. It's a Friday night. It's a beautiful Friday night. The eve of a very special, special special day i'm looking forward to tomorrow so welcome one and all to this great show of course it's hosted by my co-host and i he's daddy rude and i'm lady cleo he's the crazy one and i'm the sane one and as we go throughout the show you will see just exactly what i am talking about the fact though that we can almost be certain that tonight wife is listening. He just might put on that part of him where he acts sane and normal. I don't know if, if it will last throughout the entire show, but uh, we are going to see. Daddy Rude, we shall see, right? Listeners, tonight we right. have a great show. Tell us something. <laughs> Tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> I make everybody know, you know and all of the youth them know this. You know, you have to run your yard, you know, have to run around your yard. <laughs> I run for your wife. <laughs> I saw a video I sent you with that man who confessed that yeah. um, wife, you know, whatever, and he's with, there. When with, I, I with, didn't with know the, the poor fellow with a big knife at his head. <laughs> wife was that okay, dear? She said, oh, yes, honey, you were perfect. I, I remembered you the same time when I saw <laughs> that video. <laughs> oh, boy. So tonight, guys, we have a great show. Lined up for you, but just before I go into that, let me just say right about now, I want to give a big, big shout out to all the great, outstanding teachers of Portland, all the outstanding teachers of Jamaica, those from JTA Portland, the exec body, the DA body. I want to really, really big you up to tonight. Um, great job. The... JTA PR team, of which I'm a part, for Portland. A great, 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 great team. We had a, the first the inaugural leadership women's conference at the Nutsford Court Hotel um, on Tuesday. And that was the brainchild of our dear president, Georgia War Richards. And trust me, when I say empowered, the women there were just truly blessed. We were empowered. We were renewed. What's the motive? The motive is yeah. to create mm. and encourage women of the JTA to take their active role in leadership positions and to motivate them to, to, then, to, to then, know then, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. that hold on. we have it in us. Yeah, but how much leadership position did they all flock out and get? All leap. Well, and if you and if one get it this year, next year day, that's and it. the other year day, that's the it. point is that's the it. empowerment is what's important. Yes, it is. That's all like a whole. I want you empowered. It. Papa Cass. If you ever set up an episode tonight, you see. If you are ever right now, Cass, <laughs> we only say a whole heap. I'm listening to this pessimistic. My pessimistic co-host <laughs> right now. In a barrel, Mr. But of Foster. course, Bossy. two thumbs up. Anyway. Two thumbs up. You see? You know what, there. ladies? You know what, ladies? We intimidate. we intimidate. We intimidate some of these men, like my co-host right now, who no. just feel afraid. No, no, say, no, no, no. Women presidents will be coming up. No. And women, more women prime ministers. And no, no, more no, women. No, no, no. We don't have a problem with, with woman government. You know, but but? Say, what I'm saying is mm -hmm. that say, if you have a bunch of women, mm -hmm. right? In a, in, in, in a certain place and everybody's been empowered for one position. It's not for one position, dear. Right. No, no, no. You're twisted right nah, there. Man. You've got it, you've nah, gotten man. it twisted. You have more you have people aspire to be at the top. And if everybody have the same aspiration and, and, and the same But there, goal, is a, there is a process in which to get there. Then that, so you man, start the wrong on the, the ladder then at the, the very bottom. So the, so the and crab then, in a barrel and back you know, I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you right now because... No, I'm not listening to you. You know, I want me, I want you. Hold on, I want me, I want you. I want it tonight too, you know, because a lot of women are out there listening to you. Yeah, man, but hold on. The teachers are out there listening to you. But they don't want to lie me, I tell. Some of your past teachers are listening to you too. But they don't want to lie me, I tell. 
Hold on. Some of your past uh, how much principal? Hold on. How much principal there for one school and vice principal there for one school? <laughs> and come on, look how much teacher there. There are schools and, if and they are teacher, retiring each year. Or some are if, going away. You need more to come in and, and take the every place. Every teacher is a member of the association. That's it. Right? Is it me or what? Is it me going no, to me, pre-menopause? No, ma'am. I'm turn you off. No, no my youth. I can't work. All right. I'm mm-hmm. turn you on. Worse me, I have long hair. <laughs> No worries when me I up your head. <laughs> <See me? laughs> Anyways, to all the great teachers out there, um, Portland, Massive, you know, guess what? It's good when you My can... Girl. Prepare for be one of them where in the crab where I draw the other one them down, you know. No, but no. That's what, that's what no, I'm man. saying. You, you the, 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 the seminar was not only. May I the, tell you? Listen, be one of my youth, listen to me, no man. Be, may I tell you? Be one of the. Listen to me, man. No, hold on. May I help, 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 help you? Know, no, my girl. This is my talk about. Say, where is Karen? Karen, I need your help. Yeah, may I say, your mind not dirty enough for me to try to get your mind dirty. That may I say. You can't work, my youth. I'm empowered. That means the more you draw your dog, your body will get dry down about time there. Listen, the seminar was not only to get. one I Crab them in a barrel, I tell you know. When I went with the with the awful, listen to you listeners. With the mom pickler, just the worst. When I went with the mom pickler, I draw them down. I need Gracie right now. I need DG Angel with a pair of handcuffs right now and a baton. No, burn up. I'm not going to know handcuffs. DG Angel, I want right now to help me out here. But the leadership seminar was not just to create leaders for positions, but really and truly to empower us as ladies to know that we have it in us, right, to lead our classrooms, to lead our homes, and the, the array of women that we had at that seminar. Mm. We had a Luna Samba there. Uh, we had um, the former Minister of, Minister of Edu- Education, Maxine Henry Wilson. Oh, my goodness. Some of the names have evaded me, but so, sexologists, she was there. So, so many persons, <laughs> so many Persons were there to really encourage us, those who have gone through the grassroots, those who have come up and climbed the ladder of success and have you know, been leading us. Um, we had Nadine Malloy from Arden High, former Buff Bay High principal, now Arden High principal. So many of them, I, I've forgotten some of the names, but trust me, it was great. It was exceptionally great, and I'm not regretting a moment of being there more empowered to be very honest that means that tonight in no, every aspect of my life i was just really that motivated means that tonight no, I want different, to be a I want better different, clear. teacher a better person a, a better caregiver everything so yeah thumbs up for the seminar so let me ask and you do you have any aspiration of becoming a leader I am already a leader. I'm no, just man. growing into a... I'm not talking a Pied Piper business, man. Lead, lead, lead in the kids. Them and, man. and yes, yes. Oh, Dream so, big. Oh, oh, Think so, big. So, so, you know, so do you have any aspiration of becoming a principal, a vice principal? It's a possibility. No, no, no. That's not the question. <laughs> Let me ask you at present time. Do we, you talk, have... we talk off air. All yeah, right. Man, definitely. <laughs> See it? So, so just to say too, to the teachers <laughs> who went to the JTA netball and football rally... On the weekend. The women were playing football? Yes, I mm. saw women from across the island playing on their male teams. My, and they scored. Mm. One girl was in the goal with a very everlastingly big shirt. Could mm. hold about three of them. And she was in goal just enjoying themselves. And I want to say to the teachers out there. So what did you do? I played netball. One little game. About, they gave me about ten minutes on the court. But I was a cheerleader. Your team lost. No, it didn't lo- we didn't lose. We didn't come. We didn't come out as the winners, but in our own rights, we were winners. No, 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 we no. went there. We were the most improved team as opposed to last year. So you were we the worst team fourth. last year. We came fourth. You know what? You know what? semifinal match. Well, and you come fourth. Yes. People, fourth, fourth. Fourth. What's, people, what's up that for me now? Remember when I got school yesterday? Fourth, fourth. I don't know you're not yet. You don't know. I don't know fourth, fourth. Yet, but no fourth, fourth. What's fourth, that? No. When it's a first, and it's a second, eat the bacon. Third, you get the golden bird. Fourth. Fort? Uh, no, I don't know what fourth fourth means. You, you don't know how the fourth spot it No, I don't. <laughs> Absolutely not. But anyways, our team did extremely well. Yes. The bo- the, the, they were the boys. You the don't young know fourth, men. Fourth. The, me too, uh, thank you. No, the sir. young men <laughs> did exceptionally well as well. No. So all the ladies who took time out, he's so awful. All the ladies who took time out to come to, to go to Manchester, yeah, they had no forward. broken down vehicle this time around. Now, on a serious note though, the girls did really, really well. 
on never we, saw it at the vehicle we, this year. The vehicle was okay, man. So nice, comfortable ride going in. At the same Kruger last year, or somebody. Some, came. a few persons were. Uh, and, were so, and, a some, and some that were there last year weren't there this year. One or two, I think. Um, uh, uh, one uh, or two. Uh, yeah, uh, but for the most part, it was a team. We did extremely well. I we had them, fun. I probably them salt up. We, salt. Had ex we had great fun. Yeah, hello? So. Thanks, guys. And of course, yeah, remember on, the, the Caribbean Queen, a boat ride coming up. Teachers, go out, have fun, de stress yourselves, stop falling down and just rolling over and dying because you're not having any fun. You're not unleashing. The classroom is the most stressful place on earth. Go on out there, have fun whenever something comes up, whether from the JTA, whether from a school putting on something. Make sure you go out there, teachers. Take a few hours for yourselves, yeah? Take time for your families, yes, but take time for yourselves and unwind. So this boat ride coming up, I am going on it. And it's December 6th. Talk to me about it. We share more about it. And Miss Archer, make you'll sure be hearing more about this as well. Make, and of course, sure on Wednesday. Make sure you have your money. Yeah, man. Of course, on Wednesday, you know, that is the DA rally. Rally of the DA is coming up. So Portland... All boats in Portland, East Portland, um, Rio Grande, Port Antonio DA, and the St. George's DA come on out to Compre on Wednesday for that big rally when all the schools come together to have a little concert kind of something, something, something. <laughs> and <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, leave me alone. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, Mr. <laughs> <Ben> no, <laughs> Kevin. And of course, we're gonna have a she great. Forth. We're gonna have a great time. All right, so check out. Check out all the activities that the JTA putting on yeah. and the schools across Portland putting on. Check out Miss Simone Archer as well. She can give you more info on the boat ride coming up. Scream. All right? There yeah. you have it. You come forth. You see what you do? No, I don't. And I'm not going to just malice Kevin good and proper. Yeah. But in the meantime, yes. between time, you yes, Gracie, yes. he oh. has no... Hoping to get tonight. When we get back from the break, I will tell you more about those numbers to hook us up. Yes. When I can give you the local number and the international number right about Even now. The local number out. is four five three one triple four. That's four five three one four four four. And the international number is nine five four. I'm gonna choke him. Three three eight. Seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. We didn't come last. We want some coffee. And last is a worst no, case you scenario. Come last and no, no, come no, 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 no. We want to come fourth. We eat curry goat. Yes. You think I eat uh, the goat? <laughs> <laughs> it's now. It's roundabout. Ouch. <laughs> nine thirty people, and I was predicting uh. he would start later. But oh, my God, Lord. big ups to Mr. McPherson listening right now over there in the UK and to Vivian in Atlanta, Georgia as well. My Diane, brethren, we just called me a while ago. Smiley just WhatsApp and tell me the answer. We don't want to hear. <laughs> Diane in Buff Bay, I you miss you, girl, but there. we will talk. <laughs> big up yourself, D. And of course, Mr. Benji, large and in charge every time. Big ups, all right? It's now 9.30, ladies and germs. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio st Stage and mm -hmm. Equipment Rental Services. Ouch. Yes. <laughs> We're going to tell you how I know. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Lord have mercy, my heart. I want me a body body to like Billy now. Last month them sent thirty thousand dollar, and this month have forty thousand dollar. What do you gonna do? Me and we are caught mad. Me calm down, calm down. A simple something to fix. Me hurt. Make we call solar options. The Queen Street Mart, they they can fix all the eye little problems. Solar options? That sounds like a real plan. Get 
power from the sun. Solar Options and Electro Works Limited. Located at 8 Queen Street, Moore Bay, St. Thomas. Contact us at 982-2910. Solar Options. P- power from the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rural Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. What? All right, welcome back. You're tuned to Real Talk with Crazy Daddy Road and Lady Cleo. You are a proud fourth place. Huh? Yes, we are. We, like I said, we, my teammates and I have came shown forth. great improvement over last year. And, and for forth. that, I'm what, what did you place last year? I don't remember what we placed. But it wasn't fourth. It wasn't first, second, third, or... The games we had and the points that we scored were much better than what we did last year. So that's, that's a great accomplishment. Like I tell my students, how, how you when you, when you much, leave much, from D the, to a was, C, that's a great improvement. What, what was the score? We played several matches, remember? Uh, it was give a me rally. One, give me one. At one, one the, the defending champions, we played them, and they got seven. We got four. Come on. Four again? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me no more questions, my you, because you're just, no. just getting dark. Listen, talk Mad, to you. cross, all angry, all of you sit up back school. <laughs> Must know fort fort. Oh Jesus! Right? Daddy road, daddy road. Let me give the people the numbers. Cassidy, Cassidy. 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 in a them Those time there. Cassidy, the in a them time there. Please, thank you very race. much. So right about now, <laughs> right, for the people sir. who are in the USA, Canada, and the UK, and you're on the go, and you wish to tune in. Of course, the USA number is 712-832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. If you're in the UK, the number is 033-0010-3322. And if you're in Canada, that number is 647-957-9637. All right. And of course, I want to say shout outs to our friends on all the social media pages. You know, Styles FM, the world listens. So, of course, if you want to check us out, yeah, the post show, uh, or tonight's show for that matter, is on Facebook right about now. You can go and check out the fan page. Go to Styles FM 96.1. And you can see the show live. And, of course, you can leave your criticism. Constructive criticism is appreciated. And, of course, leave another comment or two as to what you would want to see or what you like about the show. Okie dokie. And if you want to see the show after the fact, yeah, you can check it out by late tonight or tomorrow morning. You can go to YouTube and check out Styles FM Radio. And, of course, watch tonight's show or shows that we had prior to this one. All right? And, of course, on Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. And on Twitter, you can go to Styles FM 961. All right, so you have a whole heap of places to go and check out Styles and, of course, Real Talk. And to our friends on the 91.3 FM in Brooklyn and 102.9 FM in the Bronx, hey, thumbs up all the time. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You know, you, you know, so you know, right me, now, you, mm-hmm. you know me, what me kind of like with you. you kind of, oh, oh, hold it, hold it. You either like it or you don't. Take out the kinda. <laughs> so go ahead now. Re- rephrase your statement. 
What you like with me is yes. You, go ahead, sir. You know I can't see with you. With you. <laughs> <laughs> he just don't want to give me props, you know. He want to take back pizza. Go on, my you. It's a nice little like bubbly chirpy thing there. Yeah. That's Lady Cleo. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, me tell you, you know, say boy, when you when you are host show and so you really turn idiot still, you know. You know, so so it kind of pop out now and then during oh, real talk. Oh Lord! Right? It's nice to be silly and spunky and fun. For and what, excited for and come forth too. A peep curry goat. I like curry goat, by the way. Yeah, I do. I How do. was your week? Oh my goodness, Daddy Road, my week was. I've always said, oh, it's been hectic, it's been stressful. These are all them words they put together. Mm-mm. Seriously, I had it left, right, and center. Just this, this, this. I couldn't make some, I had some calls to make. I couldn't make them before today. Mm. I tell you. I was just here, there, up, down, around, in the middle. Trust me, I haven't slept. I don't think I've gotten any. Eight hours sleep any night. A regular thing that man. Yeah, but you, I've got you, like you one don't or two need eight nights. hours sleep, my girl. Not even six when I get out, even five you, sometimes. You don't need. You probably need just about four hours sleep. I'm in Kingston. I'm back in Portland. Then in Kingston again at the whole last week, pretty much. And then seminars here and seminars there and workshop there and calls to do the jobs there. And of course, my ultimate job is my kids. You know, so it's a whole heap of battle going on. <laughs> how, but it's, how, been, how, it's been harsh. How does the holiday look for you? It looks promising like gifts and all them something to receive, not to give. Mm, I'm hoping. Um, I'm a gift receiver and I'm also a gift giver. Do you normally give um, more than you receive? It kind of evenish. Let, let me ask a question. You mean gifts? You refer to gifts or generally? Yes. No, gifts. I'm talking about no, gifts. No, not really give more than I receive. No, not necessarily. Okay. Probably more equal. You know, you, you but know. But this gift giving thing for some people is just like out the window. Why? I don't know why. It's a time of giving. Give me love. Give me gifts. Give me cake. Give me fruit cake. Yes, Miss Howell up in Windsor. Pick no, up yourself. No, hold so, on. Yeah, I hold like on, giving hold and receiving. Hold on, hold on. I cannot cut it back. Make a little. A little. Balancing right here. Mm-hmm. So. Christmas. Yes. Coming up, right? It's practically here. Yes. I feel and, the breeze. And um all right. Is is anything wrong? Mm-hmm. Is anything wrong with your partner buying a gift for you and buying the same gift for someone else? You must be out of your rockers. <laughs> <laughs> Will you ask no. me, sir? Seriously. Are you sick? No. Are you crazy? No. You're going to buy me the expectedly special one in your life. Yes. A gift. Yes. That I should be saying, oh, thank you, darling. I love you so much. I appreciate it. I've wanted this for so long. Mm. And then your turn around. Gang, gang, by somebody else. One next woman. Oh, your, oh, your tone change and your accent it change. change and... It have to change. Because I'm getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> no. You gonna buy one next woman. The same something. Will you buy give me? Yeah. Ladies, please no, tell me, on. say this man not off him rockers tonight. No, no, hold on. What kind of something Here, is that? No, me- well, and me understand, me understand. Are you trying to defend yourself? Yes. No. I understand what you are saying. It's me understand, of... me, No, hold on. I understand how it's looking about. But what? What if. But what? You, you just can't find nothing else where even you will. No, buy nothing, well, give her I... then. <laughs> no, buy nothing, give her then. No. No. Cassidy. You Cassidy. Go, Cassidy, you go in one store. Cassidy, all, right? I th- all I thought. What do you want me as no, your man. main no, woman no, no, to no, buy man. you no. a lovely no, what gift? Why well, you can't be original? No, me original. You, 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 you always have flip on the thing. Why you original up tonight, man? I'm flippy. Empower them, my girl. Empower them. Don't be a copycat, man. You know what I mean? You have more like a crab in a barrel. No, I can't. Me no care right now. That's why you come forth, you know. So, I want to know if it's okay, Cassidy, after me buy you a lovely gift set. 
Yeah? No, no, you go get the far. same basket, this exact sitting there when we buy for the first for you. Mm. We get back the same basket and say, oh my God, this is a lovely basket. It looks so nice and rich. You know what? My co worker, I work, we have Pixie, I'm going to give the same basket. Yeah, yeah. And that's not okay. I simply not. Yeah, man, I'm glad I have that. I them little simple thing. Don't be a copycat. Be no, original. Man. Everybody was a mad thief. Like, <laughs> no, everybody was a mad thief. Would it be okay <laughs> for me to come in the house with the two gifts? Oh, this is for my Pixie at JTA um, PR team is it okay with you be honest now because i will slap you <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me is it okay to bring home the same two gifts and i'm saying oh baby this is yes. yours i bought this one first but then i thought it was so nice i got one for my for my my pixie is it okay uh, it's okay Thank you very much, Cass. Thank you very much. Because Can I change my engineer tonight? Because <laughs> Cass, I don't mean I say. You go in a one store and say you see a cologne. You and you just like crazy. the cologne. You don't like the other cologne them. You know, you just eh? buy you, you just buy two. If you me say, ever say, know so you buy it, yeah, you try to take it back. As a matter want it. You buy a gift set, Cass. Right? And you just you take, don't want it. You buy a gift set with maybe assorted things in it. <clears throat> you just share it up. <laughs> it sounds like a man we're calling from the show sometime. Who we'll share the one food for the two women them? See, ah, I see there. No, we they don't were not want it. At that time. We don't want it. I don't you know want I mean? it. So, so me I wonder, people, something right. wrong with that? Exactly. You don't know it won't hurt me. Well, you don't know what hurt me. Know what hurts, but if me know, me say me don't want yes. it. My conscience not. not my take conscience not see? take me. Take it to see. Oh, the camera is on. Hello, y'all. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Listen. Oh, my goodness. No, That's sir. Evil. Me don't want it. No, me don't want it for true, true, true. Me no, not lie. I mean, come I on. I would have never have a good feeling about that the present day. Come me on. Me not lie. So call me selfish if you want to. What's wrong with being selfish sometimes? I'm sorry. But in that case, I am supposed to be very special. But you're still be special. I of said course you're special. special. But you're special. Look here. I may not feel very special right now, so I'm not lying. All right. So maybe I'm sure all some all women all will all say right, right, there's fine. a method to all this madness. Well, all right, fine. In buy two cologne, gear one and, and give the pixie one. Two different cologne. That look a bit better. Look a bit better. But why yeah. you buy she cologne and buy me cologne too? You can buy me something more expensive. <laughs> or more up there, up there. Eh? No, sir. One you name, can. one name goosey black and one name goosey something else and you go buy no no uh uh let me not say category mm -mm. Mm -mm. you know it's a and if you go buy me one cologne and buy she one cologne too uh -uh. buy me a whole set and buy she the one cologne i'm sorry mm. you are, you're just bitter tonight you're mm. just bitter 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 why you bitter. always draw me out like this eh? with these thoughts in my brain just make me feel mad but i'm sure uh. I'm sure if you did buy the same cologne for you and your mother, you wouldn't feel no way, don't? No, I don't feel no way for true, true, true. No, sir, I don't feel no way. Suppose you buy the same cologne for you and your sister. I don't really feel no way. You don't really feel no, no way. I eh, don't really feel no way. No, I'm a good man. I'm good with that one day. You're good, you're good with that one. But you're not buying no other woman, no cologne you buy give me. Oh, no. No other outside woman. No way, Jose. All right, well, hold on. Suppose the cologne, cologne went by for you last year and buy it for you this year. You say no. No, but and the same thought that you have with you, give me with, I hit you, I give you the same thing. No, it did smell me nice. Me say me no want you give her my cologne, give her something else. <laughs> Make somebody else give her my cologne, not you. No, but when you go to the store, my girl, I don't want cologne in the pudong. You can go and say, what are you want there? Exactly, yeah. I don't want in the pudong, so buy her, buy her one different one. Nothing there, buy her a different one. Hmm. Hey, Cass, sometimes some woman can own some something. Yes, where we own, own it. Own. That's why we come from Venus. I want to come from Mars. Hmm. You know, that's Upset else, you know? me. You know what? Take it into the show. It's because and say. Huh. Anyway, let me tell you about my... Shelly, text me. <laughs> tell me what you think about us. Go about the back for the air, Cass, because... Me not, me... I'm sure she's listening. I'm a netballers. No, we are part of our on. fourth place. Text me, please. <laughs> four five three one triple four. Lisa, what you say? Gracie, Taria, Miss B, Charmy, Charmy. No, them understand. Yakisha, what you want to say? See him call one, see him give for the same for the other girl. You must be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> see that, Angie, Angie, why? Angie, what you say? <laughs> Angie, Cause me can't believe you got a road in Angie. Me not deserve that, Angie. Angie said me deserve a slap. That's right. No, I mean that question enough to ask. But 
Me is a man. Hold on there. Say a bridge now, Carla. Hello, Carla. Good night. Welcome to the show. Same cologne. Hold on there. Where is the baby? Not the same cologne. One cologne, one watch. Not is is, it, is this a man calling me? Yeah, you get the cologne and she get the watch. Is this a man, darling? Well, I hear the man say, you get the cologne and she get the watch. Darling, is, are you yeah. a, you're a male, right? Yeah. yeah. I love you right now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So you get yeah, the watch. You're a nice man. And she get the watch. So what kind of watch you going buy her, do? <laughs> I see I get the watch and you get the cologne, man. You can buy an ordinary watch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're not buying a goosey and a guess. No. Oh, I know Kenneth Cole. All right. It can't work then. The bucket too. My bucket panda. Thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> no love and blessings, my love, for the Christmas. Yeah, I man. like that dude here. I like him. All right, my darling. He split justice down no, the well, middle. Well, More well, men, please call me. Yeah, me, me talk to the My gentlemen, them. don't talk to them. Leave them alone. Them thinking straight. You are not. <laughs> gentlemen out there, please call me on the 453. I want to hear from you. Hold on. This person says, hey, Miss Cleo, daddy rule not easy. Flip it. That's right. I flipped it. Taria, my darling. Good night, sweetie. Cleo, darling. How you doing, sweetie? I am. I was good before my co-host took me on and get me mad. But I'm okay now again. No way I can call my name to fuck. Eh, hey, hey. What you <laughs> said, Taria? <laughs> I'm back in my punish. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Which part of what I said wrong? Every part of it. Daddy Road. Oi. By Cologne, see me. And by Cologne, see her. Miss Semi Child. A witch perfume that smells so good. Miss Say. No, but may I say, we're we'll going at the place. I'll oh, take it on spray upon you, right? Yes, sir. The, 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 the coffee, where the magia for smell. You, 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 your, your sense is just gone, man. So that's one color with your focus on it. And you, and you just buy it to one done. I must be mad. Yeah. <laughs> so I say, where is if you get all a two for one? You get a deal. <laughs> you cheap skin. You have a coupon. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Can't work. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> but the bridge in Carly, the world can talk about the watch. Zane, you get the cologne and she get a nice little guest watch. No guess. No a guess. what? Eh. Hey. <laughs> the watch go little dearer than the cologne. Bright. You get the cologne and she get the guest watch. Because remember now, she's a guest in your life, you know. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what for true when I done with the missy? <laughs> <laughs> See? What's your what's your guess? She she's a guest she's a guest in the relationship. She was visiting. <laughs> 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 I like that Daria. It's ridiculous, it's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uninvited guest. Uninvited, honey. Uninvited. <laughs> <laughs> you better drop one of the S, funny. Oh Lord. <laughs> All well, right, my darling. Well, no, I got to uh, get the watch there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my darling. Thanks for calling. Uh, Big ups right. every time. All right, <laughs> This person says, no way, Cleo. Not the same gift. After me, no twin. Thank you, my love. Only twin them buy same something for this. I mean, that's all I stopped to know is much less. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Brown. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, Miss Brown. Miss Brown. <laughs> lick him, Cleo, lick him. That's right. I give two hours all over my love. Carla from Maypen says, good night, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Hey, girl, bless up yourself. Hi, Carla. How you doing? And Gracie says. Click on Gracie there. Let's see what Gracie is saying there. Hi, Gracie, my darling. How are you, honey? <laughs> um, we have a caller online. Hello, caller. Good night. Pleasant good night. And how are you? I am good. How are you, sir? I'm not too bad, you know. Good. I want to know what you're thinking about this. See him give something, something. Uh, pardon me? What, what's your take on the, giving the two women the same gift? Well, you know, the two ladies are, it's what they are, they are special, you know? Hey. Thank you. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it any different from any. Uh. It's two of them get the same, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, and bright eye said that, you know. Just don't let me know about it, bright eye. And bright eye. Yeah, it's it, 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 it easy to call. You're not. You're not gonna mix up nothing. No, no. So I, 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 you know, sometimes you, you, you go in a store and you get a deal, you know. Simple. You get, yeah, you get a deal sometimes, you know, you get um, three for a, a good price, you know? So you're a cheapskate to bright eye. 
Ah? You're a cheapskate too. Cheese what? You're a cheapskate. Cheapskate. Cheesecake? Yeah, yeah, well, call on. <laughs> hey. Right there is a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> You're cheap, man. You're cheap. You cheap? Yes. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no, man. Expensive call on, man. You understand? Oh, I hear you, sir. Right, eye. Yeah. Yeah. You have one color when you have curve. Who will a different, different type of curve? Yeah, you man, see yeah. me? You can buy curve, but a different type of curve. We don't want no curve number one. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and the white diamond, you know what I mean? You can give them. You don't know want that neither. Definitely. Yeah. We don't want that yeah, either. You don't want white diamond? No, sir. Oh, you want John Paul? Bin. <laughs> two twelve would be nice. Huh? Two twelve would be nice or goosey. No, that's outdated, you know? Oh yes it to me. <laughs> yeah. It smells really good and I like that fragrance. So you're gonna go buy a sheet of curve and maybe buy me something that I like. Okay. Alright, sir. And they're wondering if it's true because I like the accent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, make up yourself, bright eye. Yeah. All right, keep it locked. Bright yeah. eye gave us English tonight, people. Yes, Gracie. It sounded like bright eye. It was bright eye. <laughs> Good night, Cleo. I predict enough coffin for him tonight. I mean, if I tell you, mm. him no one get the scent mix up. Me glad some love my cologne. Them people always ask what I'm wearing. Let's say wait, what's that word? Wait here. From Canada, mm-hmm. I hope I got that name correct. Clear, oh, daddy rude. No, nah, nursing no, 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 that's a lice. Is it lice? L I C a lice. <laughs> lice. I'm gonna fix your lice, you pronounce your terrible lice. <laughs> I don't think it's lice. I think it's a different language from the in regular English. Okay. I don't know. It's um, looks Englishish still, but I think it's lice. Probably lice, lice, lice. Could be lies. No, it's not lies. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you. <laughs> well, Gracie, it's fr I knew it was French. I told you it was a different language. So that might be, let's say, what here? What here? What here? We still see lies. It's French. Yeah, Francais. No, you didn't do French. You know, me at work, what do you, uh, what, what do you, I'm say, one well, lady, I pat her ear, I'm say, what a knit. I should know, know what name knit. Oh, Lord. Did you, she say yes or no? She don't know what you need. Okay. You, you know what you need? Good thing she never answer. You know what? Do you know Is what? Is that what they refer to as the, the thing that people scratch from them ear? No. Cassidy. Same thing? You know, you know what I'm calling it? Is it an, is it an insect? Knit. You, you don't know what I'm calling it? What is it? it? People, hold on. What's wrong with your old country me. man? Long oh, time man, there. Can't my two, my, my, my two first part them. First, second, and third, fourth. <laughs> no, you can't know what you need. Where you come from, my youth? You don't know knit. I've heard the word. I know you knit with a needle and thing. You knit, knit, knit something. No, I sir. don't know. Is it an insect? A lice egg named knit. I knew it was re related to lice. I knew that. But I just wasn't sure. But I've heard the term before. No, sir. And it doesn't sound nice anyway. You never know, see a lice egg named it. No. We are going to see no about lice. Let me know catch lice No, We have to wash with that water. Where did it go? If we go get lice, lice mother. No. You know what? Gary in New Jersey. Hey, Gary. How are no. you, my darling? How is... Uh, how is Denise doing and how is our CEO doing? I hope they're doing fine. <laughs> Gary says, good night, Daddy Rude and Cleo, Daddy Rude. We can't back you on this one. You might get shot. A joke. Real talk. Real talk. Yo. Thank you, G. Thank you so much. <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> Perry Ellis, Lady Cleo. Yes, that's not a bad choice either. Nice one. Nice one. And there are some others. I can't remember their names. Um, I got, I got one from our gift for our, no, my man. gift the other day. That no, was a man. lovely one. Mr. No man, I'm sure so they um, have curve for women, man. You don't have curve for women too. I never know. There's so many of them. I can't even but I keep calling. Well, for different, different curves. Holy yeah, heap, yeah, holy heap, holy heap. I have, have the original curve. I still have hmm. it. All right. Yes, let's get into our our, 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 our Vox Pop. Yes, how so much let me share. How much Vox Pop we have tonight, Cassidy? 
Do we have any more text messages there? WhatsApp messages? Okay. Down the line? No? Nit. We can't believe. Oh, no, no, no. I need Nit. I've heard Nit before, as I said before. You ever catch lies yet? Oh, no. I don't know what lies Seriously? is. Never. I don't go to places that you go to. You ever catch lies, Kias? I want to them pick me up. You want to go? Some place where we not go. We not venture to them places there. I mean, you know where you go under some cellar somewhere. Yeah. Go get lies. Yeah. Oh, I want you catch your lies. We can't believe. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You know what? Let's hear the Fox Pop for tonight, people. <laughs> is this serious? No. Yeah. Oh, boy. So tonight's like Fox Pop reads, <laughs> think carefully about this one. Yes. Because it could be you or your partner affected on either side of the scenario. Yeah. If a woman gets pregnant whilst in school and drops out to bear her child, do you believe that the father of the child has a responsibility for his baby mother's future academic endeavors? Hmm. Whether or not the relationship between them is still active? A very, very interesting question. Very, very interesting question. This wasn't your idea. Absolutely not. Oh, because it sounds sensible. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's Shelly Shell's idea. Okay. So, if a woman gets pregnant while she's in school and she had to drop out to bear the baby, yeah, to bear her child, do you believe that the father of the child has a responsibility for his baby mother's future academic endeavors, whether or not? The relationship between them is still active or if it's even going to last. We don't know if it's going to last, but is it, if it's still active or not, is it his responsibility to bear her, her academic burden, so to speak, whatever future plan she has, should he be responsible for it? That will be based on certain variables, though, I believe. Because Father, yes. if it is that this boy or this father happens to be a student, then it puts a spin on the whole outcome come off the scenario now because this little boy himself I picked himself so he will not be in a position I believe to financially you know aid her in for future academic pursuits so that's another it argument depends. there how, it, it, yes it, it, it depends it depends because suppose I when I when them a youth she get pregnant I know my big man and she decides she boy she want to take her back to school oh hmm that's kind of odd. But as it relates to, and then again, if you were an older man, a prison if you go. No, so well, you know, I really can't help her. I forgot about school. No, remember, but, you know, it's uh, if a woman gets pregnant while in school. Okay, let us, so, let us put some so we put, about, put it into perspective. So we school, ta- what, what, what level school? It's uh, if a Secondary, woman. Secondary, tertiary? Let, let's put it at tertiary. Okay, fine. Let's put it at tertiary. Okay, fine. So we're we, we, we gone. Yeah. Okay. So, she, of course, I should think so. Uh, ouch. Ouch. I, 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 Look at the top person and I think carefully. Because it could be you or your partner affected on either side yeah. of the scenario. I don't know if I'm going to say for an adult that he should be responsible for her, her future endeavors. Mm-mm. She was a well-thinking adult when that pregnancy came into play. Mm. And if anybody would protect herself from the pregnancy, no, really no, no, truly, no, 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 it would no, have no. been she. We can't agree with her. She get irrespective, she get pregnant. Yes. And no, my, I'm, going to, I'm going somewhere. I'm saying if anybody were to be responsible to protect herself, from the pregnancy, it would have been she. Yeah? Oh. The fact that she didn't do that, and oh. she got... Let me finish the nah, man. man, I sweet this man and things, things The pop, fact man. that she got well, pregnant, well, you well, can't man, hold man. the man responsible you know, man, you for have, that. You're fight against sweetness, my girl. <laughs> yeah, right now, at 10 o'clock. <laughs> you know what? It's now 10 o'clock, guys. The time is brought to us by DJ Printing Services, and that will tell us that Real Talk is sponsored by... Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. We're so forward. I can't last the whole night with you. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing. 
at 893-2266. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518 518- Two three nine nine. The Jamaica Customs Agency recognizes the crucial role charities play in the social development of Jamaica and advises that effective Wednesday, November 1st, 2017, officers of charitable organizations or persons authorized to undertake clearance on their behalf are no longer required to visit Customs House. Officers and or authorized persons are now required to proceed directly to the ports of clearance to receive approval for clearing charitable items. For further information, contact the customer service team for this and all other customs related inquiries at 876-922-5140 through to 8 or send us an email at public.relations at jacustoms.gov.jm Good day driver you notice that you're parking in a no parking zone you know so you can get a ticket for this sir really officer but also I'm pick up some hardware supplies you know do me a beg you give me a blind huh? so if you need hardware supplies why you don't go to Ram to the super center and hardware Ram to Super Center and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtonus Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtonus Super Center and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtonussupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town, town, town. Guess who's back on your radio every Saturday morning from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Yeah, it's Chungy on the Jumpstart. Let's wake you up out of your bed every Saturday morning. Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Good music, good company. It's the Jumpstart. (laughs) Hey, kiss the open Saturday morning sweet again. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And um, just to say that we are mourning the loss of Dr. Claude Packer, my former president of Michael College. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was there while we, I did my tenure there. Um, Of course, the batch, all the batches that he has ever encountered, we miss him dearly. And of course, we pray that his family will be held up and kept strong throughout this time of bereavement. I'm mourning too. Yeah, who you lost? My grandma. Oh, another, oh, Lord. Today. Oh, so sorry, Daddy Rude and the Jackson family. It's sorry, the... she was el- an elderly person? Yes, she was mm. 90 years old. 90, wow, mm-hmm. long years. Ailing for a while, I presume? Yeah, she was bedridden. <clears throat> oh, okay. It's a little bit easier to cope when it's True. like that, as opposed to some tragic circumstance or something. But keep strong, the Jackson family. I know this is, this is like the third in mm-hmm. a, in the year. Yep. Wow, you guys are really, really very so you know strong. The, the, you know the movie that called it um, <coughs> like a, three funerals and a wedding. Oh Lord. You, you know that movie? No, I'm gonna have to look for that one. Yep. I'm gonna have to look and, for that and one. And so we have a wedding tomorrow. Oh, yes, I know you do. Yep. In the but, midst of but that life, grandma, there's death. Huh? I can oh, sh- accredit the dark side of me. She gave me that, <laughs> that, 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 that vigor there and that, 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 that the darkness. Vim. There. Yeah, that darkness there. Where, you know, like how like Jack and all cool and he's oh, like Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. yeah. The fire in me now. Uh-huh. That, that, that are the Makanoff side. Oh, okay. Get you. Yeah. Got you. Because we all have our genes, you know. 
Yeah. Have the jeans, them and the t-shirt, them and the yeah. sneakers, them and the whole suit. Which is that, that <laughs> so that according for my tripolarness. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord. <laughs> try. That's a whole heap. Of, that's not even buy. That's try. That's a whole heap. Hey girl, man, not buy, man. Not, not <laughs> man, <burn> up. <laughs> up. Oh, DG, you're on board. <laughs> Good night, my sister. Good night. Yes, of course. Condolence to um, our brother's family who yes. is mourning the loss. It's a pity she wouldn't be, she was, wouldn't be here to, to witness True. tomorrow. And, and you know, at, at this morning, uh, my daughter was talking about seeing her. Oh. Yes, oh. sir. What well, are the things? Yeah, thing. so it's it. Oh, shh. Yep. Anyway, back to business. Yes. So. Yeah. Mm. So, well, upon the thing now where mm. you are trying to analyze or something, yeah. and you, 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 you kind of roll bias, but maybe can go on. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I really don't think that the man is to be held responsible for her future academic pursuits. I really think he should be held responsible for the maintenance of his child and the support of his child. Mm -hmm. And ensuring that, when I say support, I'm not only referring to financial support, but that he helps to nurture and to, you know, rear, rear his child. So, yes... <laughs> grow up yeah. in Pickney, yeah? yeah? It's his responsibility along with the mother. So that I'll hold him accountable for. I cannot say. In my heart, my God can't give me to say this man is supposed to. Yeah, him responsible for her future academic pursuits. If she wants to go to medical school and this poor man, all he can manage to do is um, go by and sell some of the things from the corner. I mean, where am I going to find money from? Why are you bring it to this? I'm just Let, saying. Nah, man. Let I'm me, just saying. Nah, man. You're making things worse, man. I'm just, I'm just, okay, worse, I'm just man. Look, No, I'm just saying this scenario could be possible. This scenario could be this. It could, this scenario <laughs> could be this. You know more than I know, you know. It seems, you know. No, remember, I, I, um... Uh, um, that Shelly don't mean saying no more than I know. Shelly and thinking about... That don't mean anything. Me what may I say? Zane? Uh-huh. You, lady clear. Mm-hmm. Are we really, man? <laughs> I mean, I tell you, no. stay the traffic. Then, in a school, yes, get pregnant, right? Teachers' college, second year, boom. Mm -hmm. After just cut off that, and go take just take a one year out, right? Mm -hmm. You know, see your money right? That's a bonus already, and right. things it kind of rough from 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 from, 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 from man. Mm -hmm. See, you know that said time you know, you know your thing set. Relationship the most balance of. Mm -hmm. You are tell me, sir, you would have. Mm -hmm. Morning. Um, lady, lady Cleo, good night. Good night, darling. I just want to ask you, Lady Cleo, are you speaking about adults that are going to school or is it children? Yeah, we did establish that it were, we were talking about adults in uh, the tertiary level institutions. Oh, I see. Yeah, because I made that distinction earlier. I was wondering if we were, were talking about children, but it said a woman gets pregnant while in school. So we're looking at the tertiary level. Oh, I see. Yes. All right. Nice talking to you, Lady Cleo. Same to you, darling. What, what's your take, though? Can I hear your view on the issue? Yeah, ma'am. After own children, really, and after they come back from prison. Okay. <laughs> okay, but let's 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 change your view and wrap it around the fact that she's an adult. I I really sex is sexual intercourse is a consent between two adult ad, ad, um consenting adults. Yes. And if I doesn't matter which teachers college or which nursing institution or where I'm attending, mm -hmm. and I have sexual intercourse in a manner that I do not protect myself when I get pregnant. I'm equally responsible for that um, pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And as such, the man has a responsibility to assist me 50-50 financially with the child. I do not think the man has a responsibility to send me back to school because he got me pregnant while I was going to school. Real talk. So. Real talk. I do not think so. We are adults. We had sex. I did not protect myself properly. I did not get my postenor and take it after 24 Real talk. hours. And as such, there are so many other things I could have done. I could have gotten some condom from to put on his willy. Precisely. Mm -hmm. Well, if his willy can hold a condom. Oh, yes. So okay. small that you can put a condom <laughs> True. On. True. But I'm just saying. 
Oh, yeah, them deal with it. <laughs> and really and truly, for true, if it is that the willy, the, the condom slid off while in the act, you can yeah. get your morning after tablet. The postenor. Exactly. Right. So, so really and truly, you know, we don't have no say. No, I, and, and honestly, you know I love my females. You Definitely. know I defend my females. Definitely. But I can tell you, we don't have the foolishness. If you get pregnant, you are big smarty, and you get pregnant, you have choices, and you carry the baby, the man's responsibility is to look about him picking That's it. That's right. Try and back yourself at school, and that is where I think that it goes. Real talk. If it's a man like Daddy Rule get her pregnant now, <laughs> full responsibility to send her back to school. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different story. Whole different story, Mama. Whole different one. <laughs> Lady Cleo, can I say that? I want to tell you thanks. I saw where you congratulated me. Yes, ma'am. I want to tell you thanks. I mm. feel so honored. Yes. Um, but look here, between me and you, when you go to one function, one formal function, and I like a tube of food, you know, get? <laughs> <laughs> look here. Yeah. I enjoyed my food at the nuts food, but I kind of wanted some more because I was You're really hungry. You're supposed to eat before you go. A true. I said, let me get the food. I said, well, this is an appetizer. Okay. So and the main course was coming, huh? We don't want to have some popcorn. And I wait up for the main course. And I said, oh, no, that was the main course. <laughs> I, I guess the amount of food you got was, was determined by the number of people that was there, right? Well, that's true. <laughs> but, yeah, man, I think women have a responsibility to protect themselves and, and, and think sensibly. Yes. And honestly... Um, baby is a big responsibility. Oh, yes, sister dearest, yes. In the life, another life in this world. And first time, at, back in the days, Cleo, you probably were too young. Yes. Women used to get pregnant to hold a man because they felt that when you get pregnant, the man automatically marries you. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you now that aim love. you want a brother to run now. Run with everything in I aim. Just say, I am pregnant and he is I mean, if he tell you, run, run for dear life. He is so gone. I tell you, baby, because nothing I hold him at all. Not a thing I hold him, my love. Well, um, Miss, uh, a lady that, uh, um, that rule love, that loves certain things, and would have said, baby, now we are again. And of such, if you choose to get pregnant, that means you have practice to be wife, and you're not necessarily going to get wife ship. But mm -hmm. I mean, ladies think. If, if, if you, oh. if the man does not protect himself, you will protect yourself. And, 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 and it is both persons uh, who are support. But it really does my blood pressure. The race come to take a lot more because children are. Yeah, man, only raise up to for two. I'm not lying. Yeah, because I'm really start to talk now. After I come back from prison, mm -hmm. I'm have a long term sentence. Did, if you do some hard labor, if you get some money, if you send her back and all these work things. I'm in a prison. Yeah. They send my little girl at school. I told him, come up back. But then, you know, so big people not talk about Yes, real talk. All right. All right, darling. Thank you so much, DG. You're welcome. All right. Now, Gracie, you can't show me those things, my girl. I'm going to need them. <laughs> hmm. Me a fragrance, smuddy, you know. I get weak yes. in the knees. Yes. Let me ask you, road boy, because Cleo's still at work on the thing. And then she go get and your, if you agree and with your her point and is gonna be what? That he is responsible. Well, I know my girl, father cares, big man thing. Are you serious? What? What? How you that you that situation like that, old boy? You know, sister in get pregnant and she drop out of school. You know, say a year you out and ready, and she ready to start back school and she not have the funds. You tell me say you wouldn't try to jump up something to help him to go back to school. That's a different scenario, nah, man. Nah, man. At that we are talking nah, about, man. man. No, man. No, man. At that we are talking about, man. Jump up to help her is quite fine. You could do that. But is it a responsibility that the man has? Cassidy, you have to say you don't jump up. So you, you don't feel say you have some amount of you, you have some amount of damage control to do. So hold on there. Hold on there. Eh? Okay. Where's the road, boy? No. So you work a year first and make up. So hold on. So you will still put a put, put piece of food pan, pan it for she go to school, no? So so about her, when, when I should call and say, boy, father Cass, you know what I say? I need some ray. So what 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 is some ray? Hmm? She needs some supplies. She wanna go buy, she wanna go, she wanna go, she want go down at the, 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 the market because our 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 dam our commissary at the dam are on low. <laughs> hey. 
So, mm. so <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, don't. <laughs> ah, you see it? So, for those men, yeah. God forbid, who have these women, get these women pregnant and have these, they have these babies, and before the baby even born, them run gone. Mm. What you got to say to those men? Oh, they should run, come back and get some money and chump up and send them back to school. They might they not look more baby. They might go business with mother. We want to go back to school? Then, in, irrespective of that, what we are saying, <sighs> what we are saying, see? Hmm. You, 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 it happen, it happening, say it happened to you. Mm-hmm. And, you want, and, and you want to go get the studies, right? And the money not there. I would have just simply had to hope that the man that I got pregnant for isn't a worthless kinaki degelu man yeah, who would far. help me out. Yeah, I, would want, I would hope that I would have made the right choice with the man so that he would want to see the need to help me out. Yeah. But there is no guarantee or there is nothing to mandate that this man must help me. So ladies, we also need to look carefully at the people because trust me, the sperm donors, them not nice. Why you got too far with it? No! You, far. you have to ensure, and that's why we have programs like these, so we can educate. Yeah? You're going to be with somebody who the possibility is you could get pregnant or you don't use anything with the intention not to get pregnant, but let us say, people, hey, the reality is it could happen. Yeah. You could get so into the sweetness that you just all burst off and things just gone, shoot, gone to egg and just things just happen. And you don't even stop to think, oh, I need to go and protect myself for the, you know, the posture or two or whatever. Let us say you didn't do that. At the same time, on, on, before on, you go, dear, try and think on, about on, the on, kind on, of on, man. On, on, on. May I tell you? Hold on. That thing that ex- w- 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 to Pepsi and Fenzik. Deliver me, Jesus. Me about to sit there and catch Ariana Bray, please. Can we mute his mic, please? <laughs> because it's safe. So. It's no, no, go so. No, so something must go so, man. Deliver me. You ever hear about it? My co DG? Well, on, Pass me, through, no, please, do. <laughs> may I ask a question? So, with, yeah, a piece of, on, with a paper and a pen for read the rights and all these have things. Have you do. ever heard about that? No. You never hear about Pepsi? Have a caller on the line, do. Thank you, caller. Good night, caller. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that service of Jamaica, you see, that is a dial, 119, you get the police, the ambulance, and everything, what they can't right now. But I'm going to have a man, I can't get up for a new one, leave. No, this yeah. man is out of his rockers tonight, I swear it. Well, no. <laughs> People, well, the views well, expressed well, by my crazy well, co-host well, are well, not those well, of Stars well, FM. <laughs> May Those I, are his crazy oh personal views. Like your compost, Mr. Um, Lady Kier. Yes, dear. It's so not like that it will even take them to your place. Oh, I know. You know never buy fancy gun Pepsi you know before. Like you know what <laughs> no, I'm the one here about that. That one. Oi. That one. Me, me, no, I'm music here with Pepsi and Pepsi. But oh. you didn't believe in it, you <laughs> Me not know. <laughs> me a schoolboy. How much money you get Pepsi and Pepsi? Eh? How much money you get Pepsi and Pepsi? Eh, enough time me draw nil. So me can't believe it. When me go to school, me so draw nil. Me not grow, no, no. Oh, Jesus. What me say about if it's true? Yo, don't worry yourself, man. Just make sure you have Pepsi and Pepsi. <laughs> so me ask, no, what's a big man if something goes up? Carla but, says but it's dangerous. I don't, no, I don't think Pepsi and Pepsi. Aye. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. See there? Me get one yes, but it dangerous. See? People out there, yes, do, I beg you. Dangerous. Don't you dare no, go try no Pepsi no. and offend no. I be well, adult. This is the first. This came, you know, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, man. This came, man. Not, 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 <laughs> not, 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 yeah, where you're not on okay, Kango, so you know. <laughs> the college students out there who might be listening, please, no Pepsi and no Pepsi around here. Wonder, but, okay? Yeah. You but, go but, get that man to buy you a postin or two if you need it. But, but, but fence it no, not exist again. No, no, no. No, no, no. Fence it no, not exist no, again. Fence it no exist again. Fence it no exist again. Fence it could be tonic for the baby. And that did not mean like we drink Fence it no exist again. 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 I am sorry that when Daddy Rude mother did pregnant to him, she never drink Pepsi and Fizzy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am so loving you, L. Jackson, too. Can I tell you? Yes. I really, tonight of all nights, I just really appreciate you, L. Jackson, so much oh more. My goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here and now, Pepsi and Rusty Neal deliver me Jesus. <laughs> yes, I rant. <laughs> you know Look, what? We are, listen, Let's listen, these things might be missed, right? But we all heard about it, and that's what I'm saying. Right, because I call one big word, I'm not so sure, not so sure about something. I said, well, on. I never used to hear about sickness back in the days. Pepsi and Fancy. Can, 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 we, can we just hear... What the Vox Poppers? All right, we're, we're going to the streets, people. We're going to the streets. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! Yes, I do believe if a man let a woman drop out of school from her education, the responsibility is on him for her to finish her education because the fault was his fault. Even though it was not him alone, the charge wasn't on him alone. But I do believe that he should take the responsibility of helping her to go back to school to finish her education because at first and foremost, the woman deciding and bearing a child for you so i think you should look into that and help her make she further her education because of the situation it um turned out to be some people don't care some men yes will because i heard men say because i get a child with a woman i'll send her to school because if i send her back to school it would be an asset to my child when some man believes if any man a woman left that's it but it shouldn't be like that remember you be you guys have a child together and that's a commitment no doesn't matter if you guys separated the child is there to prove so I think it's the responsibility of the man. Real talk. All I know is that each parent has an obligation to that child. As long as the sex is agreed on, no one is responsible for a dropout. When someone drops out of a high school, a girl rather, there is a woman's center that the young lady can attend until after the baby is born. And after the child is born, they can, the young lady, they help that person to get back into a high school. So whichever grade they were, they are dropped out of, they can repeat that grade and continue their education. So if it was the parents of that child that was going to pay for those CXC, the parents probably, yeah, you're going to be disappointed, but you can still help your child to achieve her goals, pay for the CXC just the same, you know, because at the end of the day, it's your child and you want to see the best for your child. So I wouldn't too depend on the whoever the dad is. Well, you have some good men that will really stand by that young lady, you know, to make sure that her dreams don't die, so they will help, just the same. So whether or not they're still in the relationship after the child is born, it would be good if that person stick around to help you. But should be involved in their child life. At the end of the day, I'm sorry, but where I'm concerned, the children are the most important thing to me. I really don't too, too care about the parent situation. It's the kids that are important. It's just sad that most of, most time that um, it's the kids that get in in the middle of adult stuff. So they are the one who always end up being punished for their parents sin right but if that girl have ambition and get the help push yourself forward you don't need someone to do that for you because i'm telling you if you have your mindset and your goals to achieve it doesn't matter you will get there you just have to keep your goals in mind and reach for the stars you know, because I can tell you personally that my sister was a high school dropout. She went to the women's center 
And after she had a child, you know, she was enrolled in another high school and she dropped out again. And she keep doing that until, you know, so if you have, if you have your goals and you push forward to them, then you don't need no one to like be there like the father because some dads who some girls get pregnant for the father of that child really no i have no ambition so you have to know where you want to move towards it real talk real, real talk. talk and some of these men who sometimes some of the men who go down that road and get these women pregnant um in instances they weren't really in for a relationship of such let alone a baby coming so you know they normally talk about themselves in many instances i'm not saying in all instances because there are men who are in relationships with people who are in secondary i'm sorry in tertiary institutions and they do mean them well and they do stick around to help them out with the baby and be supportive and all of that there are those cases but sometimes the opposite is also true. Yes, Carla, good night. Dan, good night. Love you wherever you are. <laughs> um, let me clear. Can you imagine tonight when Kirk Kirk is calling? Oh, Lord. He called in earlier with such, with such accent and English. Yes. Oh, he did? I didn't start. Oh, we hardly recognized him readily. Oh, my God. I'm going to listen because he's going to call back. Oh, yes. He's going to call back. and going to have another accent, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. All right, so. You know, mm -hmm. one of the things where me think, say, all right, me think everybody I miss one, an, an important factor. What's that? Right? Me think, say, if you invest in the woman, you invest in your youth. <laughs> Straight up, Cassidy. If you invest in the woman. If you invest in the woman, you are investing at the youth. That's debatable. Well, if you're in my... All right. You, but you know where I'm coming from. Yes, I know where if you're, you're if, if you're investing at the woman education, you're investing at the youth well-being. Yes. Right? You are put her in a position for better care for herself. And her and youth. And the hopefully child. for the child. Yes. Right? So, me just think, so boy, nothing no wrong with it. It's not necessarily an obligation, but... It is, it, is, it is some amount of, of smart, a smart way to spend your dollar. So even if, even if you and a woman not there anymore. Oh, Lord, that's another spark now. How right. many men? How many men? And I probably can, out of a thousand men, I'm probably thinking ten. Would or less, who would actually assist a woman despite the fact that they're no longer in a relationship, they would assist her to go back to school. I mean. Not many. Not many. There are some, but not many. Call a good night. Back to I you. Don't like the word. I don't like the word invest. Tell us why. Yeah. Because a lot of, we have no realized that a lot of the murder suicides that happen in domestic violence mm -hmm. has to do with men feeling as if they have invested quote yes. unquote, in a woman and after investing in her so you send me back to school and quote unquote invest in me mm -hmm. okay what kind of garbage you go on it afterward i'm not supposed to walk away from you and if i walk away i am supposed to sign up in a convent <laughs> and so reside until I die. So when you invest in me, you feel that like I am your property. And yes. it's not a joke. There's a lot of men that think that way. Yep. So I don't want when I get pregnant for you, you invest in me. What you can do is to make certain that you contribute to my well-being if you so desire. But I don't want you to invest in me because if you invest in me, a lot of men who send back women to school, whether it's because they get pregnant or because afterward they, belong, they feel as if the woman becomes their property. You can't leave them. Yes. And if you leave them and dare to take up somebody else, you send me to school and I graduate from Michael, and uh -huh. then I feel like you're... I mean, some fools you say they are going in all along. We decide to listen, enough is enough, and I'm stepping. And you see me with another man. Is all you see now, you know, is your investment, you know, yep. going into somebody's pocket. Yep. 
And that's where the murder suicides come in. Yeah, and, and you know, DG, I've, of, I've often said, while it is that I will not dispute the fact that there are those women who are just wicked and ungrateful because some of them know say they don't want the man, but they use the man for what he's got. Yeah, those set aside, we know that those cases exist. There are also those cases where the woman's intentions were good, but for some reason, I'm <clears throat> sorry, some things are just not connecting in the relationship. And if it is not working out, the ultimate thing to do is to get out. Now, when some of these women who are genuinely there, but things aren't going well, want to get out because of this so-called investment that the man made, he thinks that, how oh, dare she leave? If me can't have her, nobody's going to have her. And then I these women know, are trapped in I the relationships. Know, I know a situation right now that there was a gentleman who sent this lady or... ADG, we're going to ask you to hold that thought, please. Hold that oh. thought because we're on the 10.30 break. All right, darling? Okay, go. Come right back with it. It's now 10.30, guys, and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. Stick and stay. We soon forward, all right? Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Shop at DIB and save big during our pre-Christmas sale November 27th to December 2nd 2017. Come in and get all your building and hardware supplies, paints windows, tiles, lumber steel, cement, concrete blocks and much more at low low prices for the season. Up to 50% off selected items. We at DIB are waiting to serve you at any of our three locations. 44 William Street, Port Antonio, 993-4415. Wider St. Margaret's Bay, 913-3530. Or 7 Thompson Avenue, Buff Bay, 913-6464. DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited, your foundation starts with us. Fun fest and food for exciting parties. It's the Portland Paradise Weekend, December 1 through to December 3. Come and join Paradise at the Portland Paradise Weekend, Friday, December 1. The welcome party is fire and ice. Errol Flynn Marina, Port Antonio, Saturday, December 2. The breakfast party's on 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Summit, it's at Seaview Villa. You can't afford to miss it. Then, in the evening time, in Fusion, Port Antonio Marina, the big, all white, all inclusive, frosted. Sunday, December 3, featuring Chris Martin. It's at Frenchman's Club, Port Antonio. You can't afford to miss it. It's Portland's Paradise Weekend, Friday, December 1 to Sunday, December 3. There's a place we can go. Tickets for Portland Paradise Weekend are available at Unique Travel Farming Building, Royal Mall, Total Gas Station, Port Antonio, and Hotel Tim Bamboo. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399 Don't forget 518-2399 We the best Visit Turner's Electronics and Auto Supplies. Quality service with a smile. We sell and repair all electronic equipment and supply a wide range of vehicle parts. We sell oils, dispatch, tires, front end parts, and much more. We are a dealer of Zoom Zang, Zamko, and Yang Yang motorcycles. We stock bike and bicycle parts. We are located at Collapse Building, Bowling Grove, St. Thomas. Call us today at 372-6862 or 805-9137. Turner's Electronics and Auto Supply. If we don't have it, we will get it. Come on, December 1st for a free battery testing by Tropical Battery. 
Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. And we do go back to our phone lines. We are, we're with DG right now. Go right ahead, DG. Thanks for holding. Yeah, man. I'm old, man. I'm not buy my credit, you know. <laughs> um, I was saying that I know of a situation with a gentleman. Yes. Who sent, or he said he sent the lady to school. And the lady went to college, teacher's college, and all of the works and came out now he is an alcoholic uh -huh. so he drinks like a fish spit upon self lay on a roadside <laughs> everything oh lord she now being elevated herself can't stand this situation and this condition anymore yes so she decided to walk away mm -hmm. now she's young and beautiful so she's not going to go in the convent she has no remarried she no remarried she has no married and is living her decent life, and she can't get rid of him. Wow. Oh. Because he literally feels that like I own her. Wow. I mean, goes to her house, scratch up her car, fling Sydney Brook up in it. What? Anywhere on earth. Him see her, him terrorize her, because I've spoken oh, to him. Oh, my goodness. And him literally feels that like she belongs to him. Mm. And, and he... And he expressed to me that I still love her. I will always love her. I do everything for her. Wow. But, but so I, just, it's, I just had a concern. I have a problem. Yes. But a concern when the man that is inside of the studio with you says <laughs> about investment. Yes. I'm just asking, as this is my last call tonight to you, that you do not use the word investment as it relates to a woman. Don't invest in a woman. You invest in your car, invest in piece of land, invest in the bank account up there, so invest over there, so you make a contribution or you assist a, a lady to be back on her feet if you got her pregnant, if you so desire. Mm -hmm. But don't invest in me. Who are you? Remember. Get it clear. Well, I'm dealing with him now. Who are you about to invest in me? <laughs> yeah, I was. Re who are you? Remember. Yeah, I Re remember, I know. R remember, what? remember, you know, I said it is for the benefit of the child. You invest in the woman, you're investing in, in your child. That is the whole objective, you know. Hold well, on. When you invest in a woman, you invest in a child. Yes. But there's no guarantee invest of that in now, is there? Right. The, the, I, the idea, hold well, on, remember, you know, you, you, you have to be, you, you have to be in of, of a balanced frame of mind and know what your objective is, Right. So the objective is you're going to assist this lady to get back into school based off what had occurred. And right. by default, she will be in a better position. You are no longer in a relationship with her, right? She can be move on in her life with somebody who cares not about your child. And she don't have the educational background we should have need or we would have want to know about Even in case you as a daddy pass on and not able to take care of your youth. Right? She would have an educational background where she can take care of your youth and help even him to elevate to higher education. That is what that, that, that is my objective. Hypothetically speaking, that is hypothetical because really and truly you can have a woman who goes out there, gets help from this man, do her thing, gets her education, and goodbye to both she the picnic and the man. She not have time for picnic. Not uh, for no man, really. She yeah, yeah, keep putting it to grandfather, that, grandmother, that, gone about her business in yeah, the night but, time, left gone a far in the child to barrel picnic. Really and truly, it's 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 neither here nor yeah, but, there to an extent. But listen for some me people. Na, me na go me na go that way they encourage you them say, yo, look, you see me? There are ways and means of making sure that things are right with the youth. Invest you with the Hold youth on. for me. The investment he should make, DG, hey, go open some account at the bank, some fixed deposit no. for this little baby. No, sir. Who, no. By the time he or she reaches a, a certain no. age, no. there's enough funding for him or her to be able to go but, 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 through schooling. Better road, better road. Better road. One more ask you. Yeah. The, 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 the youth, then what you talk about? 
No, I don't know. I said, I'm afraid of mine. Because I have different, different event kind of men. Me and your town, I could, could raise up on a level. We are talking about youth, we are pants, we are in pants, I catch down this, so, and I'm really I go, go work for a light pole every day and chop down some place and something, something. And this girl get pregnant, but you know, she decides to say, boy, it's not going to work. And the, and the man decides to say, boy, all right, I'm going to steal gear and money to look after you and look after me, pick me and whatever, whatever. And then afterward, him see another man with she. That is what we have to be real and we are talking. You know? If she, if him feel like say him did a invest, and the word invest me at all, you know. So when you can look about your child, help me, give me money to assist with the picnic. What more account for the child? Make certain say the child what 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 fun put in place where the child can go to school and me not yep. rare and me, me not have to court down a courthouse like some people or whatever. But me I said not invest in me personally. Yeah, but I know, I, I, I know every man, I know every man have that kind of negative view upon things. You know, you have some balanced people out there. You have people out there who really and truly want to see the best, even for the individual. Them wish and them I agree well. With you. Yes, you that's me? good. But and, if and, he doesn't and, get and, what he wants and, and in return, and he's gonna fail. Well, well, my argument right now is to encourage all of the youth them say, yo, meds it that way. Don't meds it the other way. And it has to be no. realistic because Meds guess what, PG, the point is, you know, there are some women, some men who will who would genuinely be caring for this woman, who would yes. want to care for her and her sister to go back to school. Yes. But at the end of the day, the reality also has to it hit us, Daddy Road, that if it is that this man pour him heart and soul out to help her, yeah, and he does, there is absolutely no guarantee that his quote-unquote investment not, in her she's not is going to make him feel any fulfillment or satisfaction because she could just very well turn against him. No, man. Yeah, no one asked Daddy Rose. Daddy Rose, you have never heard or how often do you hear about a murder-suicide and it has to do with a, a female that a man has invested in and she want to leave the relationship. You have never heard about it? We, 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 we read about that last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, we, we read about that last week, article oh, about oh, it last okay. week. I was listening. But I want to know now if me are in a two different world. Because all I'm saying is I don't want the man to feel like, or the youth or you say, you are encouraged. Feel like a woman in my invest in her. You can assist me to assist your child. But me don't want you to feel like a me personally you are investing in her because you I now become a property of yours. Yep. No, sir. You know what, you're, you're the uptown too much. If you come down, you say, you know. <laughs> come down, you say, man. Because you're up there, sir. You're going to get messed up up there, sir. Real you talk? Come <laughs> down. No, listen. What? You have to put the thing in a frame of mind for me to make them think balance. Right? You do have the situations out there. Can you see what happened now? We know of the situations where the negative outcome happened. But majority of us don't know of the ones where the positive outcome are going. We don't, not for we don't know about that. Not for we don't, not for we don't know but, about... But well, 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 we have good bridging and sister relationship. No, for we not know about the ex them who can link them one another and hold a reason upon the car and say, boy, yo, you know, some banana money and banana this and they, and them assist them one another. No, for we not know about those things, you know. Well, well, I, well, I, I, those I, are real. Right? right? So we, no, we not knowing about those things. We are know about the one where people are chop up them one another. Them, them they are the one where I met news. The other part now I met news, but it exists. Yeah. Seeing and I it may I say, if that part that exists. All of the youth that we are think negative and say, boy, yo, them now go spend the money upon a woman education and let the penny out of suffer, right? And them can more than help. If you can't help, help. That may I say. We're not saying no to that, sir. Yeah. See? Not, because not, guess what? Right. Enough of it. Well, not. enough people are giving money for, um, for people for, for, um, for people for buy a phone. Enough of we are giving money for people for people go to their ear and buy bleaching cream. We are do them something there. That, right? Uh, and may I say, we can't invest the money in a, in a more meaningful way. I, by the time a woman pregnant, by the time, time a woman clear. I'm glad you said that. Can you see me now, Daddy Road? Yeah. There's another flip to this kind, you know. Yeah. And you know, so I'm glad you shot me there in a life. I owe me cat. People I'm, look at the video with clear. I'm, 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 I'm,
women money to, uh, to look after their child or children. And the woman in gang and put on false nails and fall here and they pick them up. Uh-huh. Uh, half of the money. That's my point again. It go on. There's no guarantee. But what may I say? Me Listen to me. Everybody must everybody must know what they inner and who worth right, it. Right, right. Seeing what what you are in and who worth it. Because because you, you know what what grieve me of our time, DJ? Not for the time. Even the woman herself, with the old court issue and custody of a child, even the woman herself knows that she can't take care of the youth. And the man, the man in a better position to take care of the youth. But guess what? The love for the pity makes you not want to let go of the youth. And it causes attention right there, so. Right? So, but, but, enough but, but, things, but, but, enough for the time, enough woman not ready to become a mother. Yes. That's they why can only be a child. Up. Wrap well, up your lilies. Enough woman not ready to become a mother, they can only bear the child. And enough man out there willing to be a father, but them and the woman are grey. That's the know, reality of it. Well, look after your child and go your anyway, way. Anyway, that's one different show, DJ. We're going to play one Xbox pop here. Yeah, yeah, well, let me just say to you that the, rule, that the reality of life is that we have to think rational when we are... Uh, when we are advising persons. You understand? You can't turn it. Oi. Oi. What? Me might all invest in a yoto. Go along. Um, <laughs> Cleo, hold on. Do, uh, Cleo, do me a big enough hang up that phone. Can't see the cut you off. No. <laughs> 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 you know, if I make this time, I'm going to have a heart attack. I can't have a heart attack. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Yeah, man. I'm going to tell you something. You know what I want? That's the real thing. You know? I want the pin for your, your card. Your credit card, I have to go back to Scotia Bank and talk in your account, it's echo. Invest in a... Empty! Boy! Box pop cast on it. In regards to this, um, I thought carefully about this answer. One would say probably yes, but I say no. He does not have a responsibility or is not obligated to the woman's future he's obligated to the child's future right number one she is not a woman if she's going to school she's a child unless it's tertiary education so she should have no business doing any form of sexual activity and if in in the event that she's having sex while going to school and protection should have been taken no the fact that she brought the child she got pregnant and she brought the child and she dropped out of school it would be nice morally if he give it give back to her and allow her to complete her schooling well not allow her to support her while going to school um in her going back to school but if you no know one do it it may be a jackass really or a jerk but it's not his responsibility it's her responsibility to pull herself up work go back to school and make something herself right but i'm not saying that a man shouldn't know but it's not his responsibility it's just him being a good man i would say yes he has a responsibility to her education you need to remember that it is it's because of their action why she had to drop out and they have to support her in picking up picking up where she left off even if they are no longer together try help her as much as you can if they are together but he's not in the position to help her like you know the way she needs it then if there's a good samaritan out there who is willing to offer help allow her to get this help to continue her education achieve her goals you know because you are not in a position to help her i know some men don't want this but you have to trust your partner you know because a woman knows what she wants and she goes after what she wants because not all men are looking for something in return there are some some that see the good in you and you know willing to help you the they see your potential and they like it so they are willing to offer that help so you have to like trust your partner because there are still good people there who knows your story see your struggle and you know they are willing to help so it comes down to you trusting your partner if you are still together i know it's not easy because there's just this thing that people don't do anything for anyone unless they are looking for something in return but 
there are, there are still good people out there. Hear me now, Daddy Road, pick up yourself, Lady Cleo. This simple, you know. If we are still together, we're responsible for you. I have no problem with that. But if we are not together, I just see you not deal with Straight. As I mean, as I mean if, if we are not together, she might, be, she might be with somebody else. So why would I be responsible for her academics, um, academical future when she's probably with somebody else? Just take care of your youth. But if she's with me now, then no problem, man. We take care of her, man. Futuristically, academically, every kali. <laughs> I mean. ah, hey. Welcome back. I like that dude. Yeah, Futuristically, man. every alley. Well, um, and a good boy, that. Good boy. Kias. Yes. Make us try to balance off the scale. Because you know what clear love for you try to flip the kind and all of them something there. <laughs> if me, then, did have a, or say, have a baby mother then, and mm -hmm. she drop out of school as a result. And now me as a married man. Mm -hmm. See? And then now she linked me and said, boy, yo. Papa Road. You know, some more go back to school and, mm -hmm. you know, me will need a top up. Mm -hmm. And Mrs. Right? Jackson, the accountant, will be doing the accounting of your money and the business. No, she can't do everything about my thing. Oh, okay. Seeing. Hi, Karen. Good night, sweetie. No, me I say. <laughs> <laughs> No, no worry, I'm soon come home, man. May I say, <laughs> seeing, if, should there be a problem, mm -hmm. if me decide, say, boy, yo, me I come to a woman, knock off piece of tuition. <laughs> eh? Oh, boy, yes, we're listening. So, no, me I try to balance off a thing, you know. Seeing, cause we that say, will all be a secret. Like well, Victoria. Well, it it can be what what if it is it, it, it is it is revealed, right? Because you can't do the thing. Yeah, but take money and start knock off tuition just so after it's revealed. Then well, on it. if it start, it have to, it it can't just. Well, you know, easy. Your beautiful face yes, and bright. No, me I say, well, all reason. Come remember, remember, so think that them say. Yeah, these things thing. are re rash. Yeah, re yeah. Re realities. Yeah, we are reason all the things. Zin. So you are paid this. You are paid it. You are paid the school fee. As I said, suppose she drop out in her second year, so you know so she have she have third year, so she have second year to complete, third year, and if a, if if, if a degree more, she more has likely she four years, four years. Many places, so yes. you, you come so boom, you knock off piece of the tuition. And after everything, you know. You get a phone call now and then and say, boy, the commissary empty. Cause I remember you didn't agree in the case. See? And you come so boom and you say, alright, you have send all a ten pack, go full up at the commissary. And everything smooth and jiggy. Right? Mm -hmm. So what if she's in a relationship? Father Kiasa, you may talk to you. Know. What mm. if she's in a relationship, right? And she have a little college boyfriend. You would have still a help her in a school? Yes, man. Because when you just say, yes, man, help her, man. Right. So, Father Kiasa, yes. You need to help her, man. Well, well, yes. Well, 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 Father Kiasa, yes. No problem. So, the commissary fish and her boyfriend eat it out. Yeah. yeah. It happens. See? Well, Real so talk. Answer. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Good night, Carl. How are you? Fine. Good. You can't blame the lady when I mean, get pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're not telling you that I'm protection and face long up like that, you will, and then walk away. Oh. Um, yeah. So, you can't blame the ladies? You can't blame the ladies? No, you can't blame the lady. Oh. Um. We forget to hold us with him and put it up our responsibility saying we if you know the next person. Okay, the man is supposed to take up the responsibility to help her. Our responsibility. Okay. If you know somebody else. Even if she has somebody else. Yeah. So okay, that's your that's your view. Yeah. So that's what you would do? Alright. Yeah. Medan. Okay. You, and, and, and the ultimate thing is you think about your youth, don't? I think about both of them. Okay. So, yeah. let, let me get this straight, Carla. So you're saying your love for her and concern for her is really unconditional then? Yeah. Wow. I like you too. Yeah. yeah. All right, madam. Respect. All right. Thank you so much, Carla. Yeah. Cool. We have some good men out there, man. No. May I say, Zane? 
looking out for her best interest. For her best interest, because me I say, if 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 she has survived, the youth are gonna survive. Seeing, no. Provided, she, provided she's a sensible woman that the road. No, remember, no man. Listen to me, I say, no man. Listen to me, I say. Listen to me. Me now, me, me now go. I know where you're going. Yeah. Me but now, I'm just but, still thinking that but, there are exceptions to every rule. Yeah, it can be. It, 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 it can be that all of a sudden the woman no want to take care of him because him have education now, right? Number one, remember, you know, we say it's a woman you deal with when I talk about a pitney pitney business. Maybe he doesn't even See? want the child. No. Here what the thing, you know. Father Cass. <laughs> if you take up a woman and have a youth and she want to go back to school and you can't find the cheese, would you have a problem if a baby that I got to say, boy, I must send her back to <laughs> school, you know? <laughs> Father Cass passed. You must have a problem because Klim dead, they must knock. See? Be able that he says, no, yo, he more take out the mantle. And if you can't manage, give me sure just go on with your business, and, 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 if you can't manage it, leave and her more, alone because you want to go back to school and further herself. Yo, you know, so you, you, you love throw fuel in a fire. Yeah, please <laughs> talk. I saw you moving up. Please talk. Yeah, Father <laughs> Cass, there was no problem before. <laughs> See, there was no problem before. But now, may I ask you, is your girl now? And she decides the boy she want to go back to school. You can't help her. See? And there could have been an arrangement between she and the baby daddy. And, the baby daddy. and now it's time for the thing to be fulfilled. He has two options. Would you have an issue if the baby daddy start sending on can for your woman? What can I can? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can on the cob or can green? <laughs> can green. <laughs> Not the cob. <laughs> hey, eh? the only have Cassidy week, you Cassidy in the last man. I'm not going to be serious now. Before Cassidy <laughs> just answer the thing smooth. Yeah, that's why I'm saying the amazing thing that it can fall both ways. It can be at any side. That's why I'm saying, if me no want him be responsible because if my dude, yeah? Decides, say, eh, things are going to go on and that chick out there and him get this chick pregnant. No, you're going to tell me, say, eh, if me did say him for responsible for action, I'm back to school and blah, blah, blah. Me, no, upon the outskirts, should be starting, sitting there looking in on the two of them. We must send chick back to school. You must be mad. No, 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 but no, but well, on, but, well, on, but, but if, if you find out and you involved. Nothing wrong if, if you are the Look one. Here. Well, not, not wrong if you are the one where we are going to take out the 50 grand and send it to her. <laughs> eh? That's supposed to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will send money to her that relates to the child if I am at a place in the relationship where we, we reach the song. Or we get past that and we decide, say, okay, so your you child is here. Career. What do you say? You'd help with our, car with our career. Where she been there do with me husband in the first place? No, are you go into the relationship. I don't mean I say, I know you, I know, I know no bond business. I got, as a matter of fact, I got all you go in a relationship and make that mash up to, but anyway, we're not getting to the party. <laughs> See? Look here, me not take out no 50 pack give her, no day, no how. Why? And he's going to have to learn to work out his own salvation. Him make him bed, him line it. Yeah. yeah? So, 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 so. So I'm deal with, deal with, as far as I'm concerned, I am concerned that the child is being cared for because one of the worst things for me to deal with and we can't stand it no all day right. is all a right. man who not look after him. Look after you. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me ask you a question. So the man not spend no money, right? But she was sending you company ends for you go and care for you while she go back to school. It's the man's child. And if I can't deal with it, I deal with it. If I can't deal with it, boy, I'm mean, know, but... It's it rough for some women. Mm. They can't deal with it. They can't cope with it. But over time, so I think some, some women so, so, so gradually give in. Man gone at all. You said not the man gone at all and gone at price, man. But at the same time, too, him say, you know what? Tell her if you come meet him, I can't stand spring him, I care over. Hmm? Care over who? She. She? Yeah. The, the baby mother? Yeah. Kira, oh, taxi now run, bus now run. <laughs> but the man, the man, they are town. Look here. No, man. Come up, well to, on. Come up to the call one, something. Well on, well on. Cassidy, something What's wrong that? with that, sir. No, something wrong with that, sir. 
everything wrong with it. And you know what? The time is now 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect timing. <laughs> it's now 11 o'clock, people, and the time is brought to us Guess by it, don't let that road. Carla. B VJ <laughs> Printing Services. Carla says, yes. Daddy Road, don't. Cassidy, don't let Daddy Road draw you out. <laughs> that can't work. No man in him right mind. I'm going allow that. Real talk. Of course... It's sponsored by Native Audio and Stage Equipment Services. We're so far. Stick. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893 2266. Planning a party, club night out? stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event, let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low-priced promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest, present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour. Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. You just gotta tune in. Take us to work. Take us on a go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA, 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 033-0010-3322. Styles FM. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome yeah. back to Real Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make an announcement right now. You see the 11.30 break, we're going to play the Portland Paradise Weekend ad. And we have two giveaways to do, right? And it's going to be for the Fire and Ice event and the Infusion event. Two giveaways we're going to do. At the, so I want to listen to the ad because it's going to be based on what's happening in the ad. So I'm going to give you a, a, a hint. That's a more than hint, Master. Holy right. per hint. So the Pool and Paradise Weekend, we're going <laughs> to give away two tickets, right? One is going to be for Fire and Ice, and the other is going to be for Infusion. So make so, sure so you stick and stay at 11 yep. Listen to the ad, and as the ad break finish, we're going to ask the question. And get them quick fingers typing later yep. on. All right, remember the phone lines? We, well, pretty much are opened um, when we go through our topics. Yeah. Uh, for local so, number, it's 4531444. And the overseas line is 954-338-7973. Yeah, it's, so we're going to play another box pop cast. All right. Yes, me, that's the, 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 the baby father with a response for send back. 
the, the, the female to school. Reason why is because um she got pregnant in high school and she got dropped out to bear her child and. Yeah, the father playing responsibility, yes, which you know, son, every father play their responsibility. Them know so they want to get a one touch and end. For no man get pregnant, the man would have response to send back the woman to school. Reason for this is because she got pregnant in high school and she got dropped out just to bear her child. So the father would have respond to it, yes. I know, so him, and, and first of all, him have to play the responsibility of his daughter and the responsibility of her education too because and the two of them did a misbehave and then baby come then she have to drop out of school and then with him, they in good house still go to school for the female education and then she's so long and with baby. So and then when one time like this where things kinda rough still. But that's why the man would have response to it because if them want have fun and then I want bag, then I expect the baby to come. A bag may I call it. So we just make a refer to it bag. Yes. Then for bag bag themselves are a bit more careful. But from my point, but that's the man responsible, which and every which and every man go and play the responsibility of knowing that she a out of school with a child and then he must go playing the responsibility of the child and send her back to school and all that. But to be honest, I'd rather the man play both responsibility, the woman alone can do it. Because it takes two to communicate and it takes two to do what they have to do. You can't say I want something. So basically, the man has to play a film part too, in response to the Roman education. Whether or not the relationship is active, he must still respond because I'm because I've just put her school. I mean, I say she careless too. Because she knows she won't have fun. I mean, she never think about killing for bag for himself. And then she got put fear herself in her position. You yeah. know, make no sense. So the man definitely have to play a film role for his daughter or his son. And see our rule send her back to school for she prefer that see our education straight up. Alright, this is my view on this um vox pop thing. If a woman gets pregnant while she is in school and drops out to bear her child, I don't believe that the father has um responsibility for the mother's future academic endeavors because of the fact that once you are a female, you are in school, you're obviously learning to a level where you understand whether it's family life education you're exposed to in primary school or in um, high school and you get pregnant in this case. You should be aware about abstinence and all of these contraceptive methods. However, I am aware that contraceptives can fail because you're not 100% sure the only one is that is sure is abstinence. but. If both of you start out school in the case of like teenagers and or, or if it's a college setting where the mother starts school and she drop out because she's pregnant but she's not a teenager, the responsibility for her education and future endeavors should not be left for the father. Their responsibility is to take care of their child and the girl is not the baby father's child, right? So I don't think he needs to stand any um, responsibility for his baby mother's future academic endeavors. You know, whether or not they're in a relationship, it doesn't matter. She has a choice if we are fighting for equality and all that in the context of where this world is heading now. You have to figure out that women, women need to stand some responsibility too, you know. We understand that you start the relationship and it's where you decide so you're going to make a child if that's the case or it accidentally happened. It doesn't mean this man is obligated to you. Both are obligated to the child and the child's academics. Not, not, he is not obligated to you. Are you not obligated to him for fund for no education or any future endeavors for that matter? Why people matter? Let's say that topic here. The answer them just say all over the place. Mm-hmm. If we aim a motor clap, me and the umbrella, what, 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 <laughs> my view if you can help you help mm-hmm. try not to get too emotionally attached to the whole situation still you have to just know sir. <laughs> you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have a youth come in 416 I tell you, for, I like you 416 bus are run, taxi are run robot are run, 
big drive, something, anything. <laughs> but please don't take up the responsibility. You will lose straight talk. <laughs> a whole heap of owner that lose them, I tell you. Till it out on loose. All right? Four and six. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go too hard. Uh, it's a simple pick up and drop off. Yeah, I deal with. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not more than that. <laughs> hey, women just, you know, uh, let me let go that yeah, sir. <laughs> but in my in my opinion, still, it it is left to the the individuals themselves. Mm -hmm. The woman would know whether or not she would want to accept the offer from the man. The man is supposed to know whether or not he wants to um, assist with her education. As I said, in my view, I think it would be an investment in the child's well-being because if the mother have a stable education background, she can, she can hopefully get a, 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 she can become gainfully employed whether she can work for somebody or own her own business, she have the education to support that. So I just feel say, the man can assist but the ultimate goal is for the greater good. I am youth. That are my view upon the Vox Pop. Well, my view pretty much is this. If it is that this woman is ambitious any at all, she won't need the support of a man to really go back and further herself, really. And her investment would also be that she realizes that this child is not only for this man. So let me go and invest in me so I can also help myself and my child. All right, don't don't be dependent so much on any man. The man who comes out and assists, assists with a good heart, say boy, yeah, me and this chick did a go on and me really have her back away and me can assist her. I'm going to assist her, but don't assist her with the intention that okay, she's not my property. So whatever I say goes, and whatever I want to be done should be done because I assisted her to go back to school. Again, you're two consenting adults, and if something goes wrong, you both should take up the responsibility to deal with your child that you have brought into this world and at the end of the day if help for her comes fine but ladies don't sit back and say oh yeah i'm supposed to i'm supposed to you were supposed to do some some things that you didn't do all right so that's my take on it so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for participating in yep, the box thank you for tonight and um same thing next week we're gonna have a very active and energetic discussion so real talk we're gonna go into um, coincidentally, what mm -hmm. DG spoke about um, tonight about the whole um, stalking and them something there, we had an article. We had two articles to read since last week. And the second article, we're going we're gonna to read it now. And it is actually very similar to what DG was talking about, the whole stalker some ex-boyfriend business. So, mm. Lady Cleo? Yep. Take it away. Oh, okay. Let me go back to that. Yep. All right. So here we go with this article. Oh. It's, it's, fr from it's, it's from Jamaica, the Jamaica, the Gleaner. Yeah. Right. And of it, course. It was on the eighth, I think. Pardon me. Oh, the date was. Um. It says November twelfth, twenty seventeen. Yep. Sunday. All right. Jamaica's worrying stalkers, ex-boyfriends going after the women. Ex-boyfriends going after the women who leave them and their new lovers. Scary already, huh? Scores of Jamaican women who walk out of relationships for one reason or another are being stalked on, sorry, stalked and face physical violence from their former partners long after they have moved on. While the number of cases reported to the police was not available, Deputy Commissioner of Police Novlet Grant told a Gleaner Editors Forum last Thursday that in many of the cases, the women escape from relationships in which they have been abused only to find that their former intimate partners are unwilling to let go. You have persons who have made their safety plans and managed to get out. But even when they get out, they are being stalked, said Grant. There is this attachment that has almost become permanent. It doesn't even matter if you find a new partner. They still stalk you. And it is not only the woman that is at risk. The new partner is also at risk. 
And when children are involved, they manipulate everything and everybody. Based on reports I have had to deal with, I have found that the threat becomes even worse than you have once you have escaped, and it makes living dangerous for those persons, added Grant. Socializing men. The senior cop argued that Jamaica's societal norms perpetuate certain types of violent behavioral patterns among men, and that problem is usually compounded by psychological complications. They are psychopaths, some of them. One of the things that we need to understand is how to socialize men. That is something we need to pay serious attention to. All this teasing and mouthing and putting down of our men and deciding what is manly and what is not cannot continue. There is this expectation that young boys and men are to live up to. With all of this, with all of that underlying psychological problem, those things exasperate, exasper, exacerbate rather feelings of anxiety and uncertainty. <laughs> the thought of losing control is not something they can take. That's so true. It is what the surroundings place on top of those psychological problems that make it even worse argued Grant. She accepted that law enforcement and security personnel become, because of the access they have to legal firearms, are a particular challenge, but pointed out that the dangerous stalkers can be found in all sectors of the Jamaican society. It is a man problem, so don't pick on law enforcement officials specifically. There are a lot of firearm owners out there. Jamaica Defense Force people, security guards, and unfortunately, we have criminals out there with guns. What makes a male a male in Jamaica? How do we define masculinity? I argue that by being in law enforcement, the ego thing is amplified, but they are not different from any other man, said Grant. The reports span every demographic and has nothing to do with job titles. It has to do with the individual and how they are coping, plus the circle of people you surround yourself with and what they tell you, added Grant. Some tips if you are being stalked. Should we continue? So ladies, if you are being stalked, here are some tips. I hope to God you really find them helpful, if not some, but all. Avoid con communicating with the stalker. A stalker's behavior makes them feel they have power over you. If you provide them with any reaction, even tell them to leave you alone, they have successfully manipulated you in getting you to respond to them. Never respond or react to them. Two, take all threats seriously. If the stalker has directly or indirectly threatened to arm you, believe them. Contact the police immediately. Three, make changes to your technology. If your stalker has access to your phone or computer, get new ones. Get a new email address and phone number if possible. Inform others of your situation is number four. One of the most important things you can do is to let people know about the stalking. Sharing your concerns with people you trust will gain you a much needed network of support. Five, inform people in protective roles. Tell security guards at your school or work about your situation. Number six, stay alert when you are out in public. Don't bury your head in your phone or listen to music with headphones on while out in public. Remember the saying, there is safety in numbers, so ask friends or family to accompany you to places if necessary. And number seven says, secure your home. Take measures to protect your home and keep yourself safe while in it. Inform trustworthy neighbors of your situation so they, too, can keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. 
Stalking is prevalent in Jamaica, and the laws are useless against it. Uh, that's that's okay, a block. Okay, that's a different. Okay, right. So it was pretty okay. short, right? Yeah, pretty short. Sorry no, what 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 makes it interesting is the first part where it says that even your partner is also sometimes mm. stalked or terrorized, and <laughs> is a is a, is a is a serious 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 thing. Hey, let me tell you something straight up. Is it some of the time? When me hear people say, boy, they don't want no people pass. One thing was important. Mm -hmm. so, me and some of my bridging them kick back and reason with. Some agree, some disagree. Some man say, boy, they don't want nothing with it that go on their life and who should they deal with. But look here, more you have to know who and who. Go there. Because and any, any man, let me tell you something, man. You have some man on the side that they never want to know, say, boy, worse all. For some reason, you want them to that, that have some vibes back mm -hmm. in the days, primary school days. Mm -hmm. Your spans off in face and raise a ratter. <coughs> and then know your tech, way, tech, tech, tech up sitting where you, where you put on. Nah, man. <laughs> it nah go normal. It nah go, go normal. So, and if it's a recurring decimal? <laughs> me feel, say, me feel, say, people feel no one say, boy, yo, you know, say. She also talked to Cassidy. I mean, know Cassidy as a silent assassin. You think me I got there? <laughs> a wicked man, that man. <laughs> so we have to know within ourselves, eh, from a relationship standpoint, we need to be open and do background checks. We have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Hello, caller. Good night. You're on air. Hello, Miss Cleo. How are you doing? Hi, how are you, Dan? Your wife, your radio Hello. wife, ailed you up earlier on tonight. <laughs> no. All right, listen. If, if the thing is just reach on the gleaner. Mm hmm The um, you know, I'm up when some doctor and doctor and Alan there must be a pill to um to take care of the symptoms. Mm hmm All right. You see them such a Sunday. You can, Dan, Dan, the connection, the connection, I cut in and cut out. You want to link back? Dan, Dan. We're not All here, right, yes. we're not. Okay, so Dan, Dan, we are having technical it is with the call. It's cutting in and out. So could you try to call us back if that's all right with you? Thank you. All right. So. Hmm. Good night, caller. Yeah, I think I get cut off. Yeah, welcome back. We're having some problems with the calls, but go ahead now. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the, the problem in Jamaica is, um, I must say in the article, don't, don't get to the root cause of the thing. They don't ever talk about the symptoms of stalking. So, in other words, when you go to a doctor, the doctor gives you a pill for the cause of the symptoms. And I, and I get to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. The root of the problem here is, is that too often Jamaican men think to them own the woman them. Mm -hmm. All right? That's a one. And then Jamaican women allow themselves to be owned and mm -hmm. to be controlled. Then figure say, the man them figure say, you know, all right, in a Jamaica, that's a typical thing. From, from, from in a relationship, the man feels have something more, like, more, more, more often money or some possession. All right? Sure. And then once that happens, the man of a fee say, yeah, me own her. So you see, so you see, you see, you see, when that don't know, a lot of times, uh, uh, um, uh, the MK can't take, um, uh, um, allow that to what? happen to just go so, because maybe in his mind, he invests a lot of things in, a lot of things in, in a relationship, and she just walk out so, in our go so. Mm -hmm. So, the solution me after that now is that, we need to teach our young girls them. Um, we don't go in a relationship and, 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 and allow yourself to be owned. True. But, but then, then, you know, you know, eh? what is the lesson that we want to teach the young men? Because it can't be that we only want to teach the young ladies not to be owned. No, well, well, we also need here. to sensitize our men as to how they need to react to women. But, yeah, but, 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 well, the men, 
but, but the men are empowered enough you know, by these women, gi- giving them the giving them the right to arm to, 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 to control them. You know. But no, but you have so, there, so you have those women, you have those women who do not give them that right, but then they assume it. So I'm saying both sides of the po- no, are, are, are no, no, both no, parties. No, 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 it don't work, so. It works that <laughs> way, Dan Dan. <laughs> no, man, no, no, no. Yes, it does. <laughs> No, yeah, some psych- yeah, some can't. psychotic men who believe that no, they own you're the you're woman right. because they're giving her things. Whether no, she gives them no, that no, reason to believe so or not. You can't tell a woman and, 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 and go to her or kidnap her. So. No. It's it not about so. so. Dan, Dan, so, I'm not saying so, that. So, I am so, saying so, 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 there are those women, there are those women in relationships, they enter and both parties state what they are expecting, what they want, and so on and so forth. She might not even be dependent on this man, really. But because he's involved with her, and in his growing up, he's accustomed to giving this woman things or giving her money, she accepts because they're in a relationship, and she's going to accept. Now, there's nowhere in there that you're going to tell me that every woman gives the man the right to think he owns her. No. No. There are women out there who do not do that, but the men... Because no, he's giving her things. No, but 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 you have to know. Look here, for every, for every rule is, is, is an exception, you know. But the rule the rule of thumb is that if you in a relationship with another woman and you take things from the man, the man the man the man go and claim in a female ownership over you. So when he might take right things there. from me, me can't own him to then. Eh? He might take yes. things from me yes. too, you know. So yes. we both own. okay. Yes. So the both people so, believe that they own each other, hey? Where man I take from you? So, 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 so what matter to you know in our society? Yes. We must teach, teach our our young ones on 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 on, 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 on a relationship. You are not owned. You are not in a relationship to be owned. Dan, Dan, I agree with you partially. We need to teach the young men how to relate to the women that they are with as well. And for no say, if you are in it and you you wish to assist, you are assisting on your own grounds and not because you own this woman. I agree. I agree with you that we need to teach our young men that. Enough. Okay, but, sir. But, but what I'm saying to you, in, 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 the power in this, in, in, in this equation here lies with the women. I don't know. Realize. I don't know, realize how, 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 how much. Look here. You know. You You're know, right. Like because we women should just go and buy some dildos like and leave you men alone. Because a woman, no. Most of the crime happens in Jamaica because a woman, no. Because a man, because a man want to impress a woman, and I'm not going to do this for a woman, no. Most of the crime, no. Are you that's, serious? That, 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 that woman, uh, no, Dan, Dan, I disagree with you. A lot of crime is surrounding that's greed. That's that's a lot of it is surrounding greed and hardly because any man wants to impress any woman. Come on. That is the rule. What happens there? But I say, remember, no. r- r- remember when we talked to the general from in the little, from in the ghetto there? Yeah. Yes. Yes, he right. did say that. All and, right. And then you're All looking right. at... You're the looking general, at what kind... The general tell me that, so everything's set, you know. The general you're talk, that's enough. There are different... There are different men from different walks of society. And there are different reasons that will cause people to engage in certain activities. Come on. Don't tell me that every man out there who goes uh, and no, no, does no, something no, that he knows no, is not right, no, 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 it's because he wants to impress but, his but, woman? But, but, I don't believe that. But, 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 to your message... To every rule is, is an exception. Is an yes, exception. but you're speaking yeah, generally. You, you're speaking as if it's affirmatively yeah. so for every man, and I'm saying listen, no, listen. because there are men out there I who see. couldn't care one rat's you know what about impressing no woman. If she want impress, she impress. Okay. Too bad for she. Me listen, want money, listen, 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 and me listen, want listen, fame, listen, and me listen, listen, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go look it. All over. I don't agree. I don't agree. Okay, Stop right. blaming us women for all everything right. you men do. You men need to take responsibility for your actions. No, yeah? No, well, and no, stop no, saying, no, oh, no, it's on, the women that cause the men put, to not, feel not, this no, way. No, I am not putting the blame on women. What are what you I'm doing, sir? Do is, 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 no, what I'm trying to do is educate the women. I think the all men... Right. If, they know, if, if, they know, if they know allow this to happen, this will happen. Okay, and I think the men need a little bit right. more so, of the education so words, too than the women, words, to be honest. Women, women, women have a lot of, of, a lot of responsibility in, in this equation. Uh. And then, then I, I a don't, woman, I, I, I don't realize. a woman has to do nothing for a man to go head over his and to an idiot and do stupid things because of what lies between her legs. You yeah, know that. He can go head over, head over, head over his for the, for, um, as much as he wants. If he's not, if he's not, if he's not, um, 
if, if I'm not get, 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 get the attention like that, I don't know. Eventually, I'm not, not going to move on to the, next, to the next victim. Well, guess what? You're right. And that's why we women need to invest. We women need to invest in some toys and let those men, those men, some no, of those I men go about no. them business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You see. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, oh, but God. come on. You have to check out the, the, the emotional, the, the emotional or, or at least the, 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 the sense of emotional of things now. But no, but it's what I'm saying is, if a woman is going to be her normal but self and be independent and be strong, and the man going to still feel the same owner, what she must do? No. But I see. No, but, but, but clear. And, 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 but and, and, and every man be like, well, she, And every woman do that she, either. She, she That's the point. The victim, Dan, Dan. But, 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 but she was the one to the next victim also. Dan, Dan. That's right. Leave yeah. him alone and go find some other toy or something to play with. It. And some a necrophilia she had endorsed here, sir. <laughs> At the safest we, way. At the safest we, way. We're going to, Yo, we to ele- no, 11.30 break. <laughs> All right, then. We're going to go to the break. The time is now. Right. Yeah, cool. The time is now 11.30. Um, that it's brought to you by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio and Sage Equipment Service. Listen to the Listen to the ad because the, the one for um, Portland Paradise Weekend, we're going to ask two questions. We have two tickets to give away. If you get both, you get both tickets. If you get one, you get one of the tickets. Easy. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Remember Styles FM on social media View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961 Become a fan on Facebook Styles FM 96.1. The Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment every Saturday 12 noon on Smooth Sailing. If your program is not on the edge, then it's not on the cutting edge of entertainment. News, reviews, interviews, its songs, and so much more. The Entertainment Edge telling you all about entertainment on Styles FM with your host, Shelly Watson. Hey, it's Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment. Entertainment. Three days of fun, fest, and food. Four exciting parties. It's the Portland Paradise Weekend. December 1 through to December 3. Come and join Paradise at the Portland Paradise Weekend. Friday, December 1. The welcome party is fire and ice. Errol Flynn Marina, Port Antonio. Saturday, December 2. The breakfast party's on. 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Summit. It's at Seaview Villa. You can't afford to miss it. Then, in the evening time, in Fusion, Port Antonio. The Marina, the big, all white, all inclusive, frosted. Sunday, December 3, featuring Chris Martin. It's a Frenchman's Club, Port Antonio. You can't afford to miss it. It's Portland's Paradise Weekend. Friday, December 1 to Sunday, December 3. Tickets for Portland Paradise Weekend are available at Unique Travel Farm, Building Royal Mall, Total Gas Station, Port Antonio, and Hotel Tim Bamboo. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. So remember, we're going to ask We're asking them one at a time, right? Not, no. Not one behind the other. Two questions. One. No, it, no, no, no. Because, no, no hold on, let, let me tell you. We're throwing out we, one we, first. No, we have, we have an article to read. 
Yes. Right? So we're going to give them both questions, read our article, and if in the meantime someone can just text in the answer. But if the person who calls in and can answer the two questions at the one point, one person gets two tickets, that's not fair. No, sir, I'm not, not depend on that. Listen, Maybe yes, we'll it, tonight, yes tonight. it's fair. No, it's not fair. We don't want two pers one person to get the two tickets. Are we going to spend the whole half an hour on no, this? No, we're not. So what I'm saying... I'm going to fight you. Ask both questions. No. Sir. Ask both questions. No, sir. So, ladies and gentlemen, the question first is... First question is... Yes. Thank you, sir. Ask the first question. Yes. Oh, God. What's uh. the name of the first event for Portland Paradise Weekend? Oh, that thought. So that's the, the second first. question. No. Is, what's the name of the last could event we, for Portland we, Paradise no, Weekend? Mike, so two questions. What's the name of the first event? And the second question, what's the name of the last event? If you get those questions right, you can, if you get one right, you're going to get one ticket. If you get two right, you're going to get two tickets. And person will be getting two tickets. Yes, could nothing that be is fair? wrong. No, because I have a Caesar pass. That's why. So oh it's going to be fair. God. I'll see them at all events. Now, here... <laughs> Kill your vibes, don't. Yes! So, you're going to win a ticket for Fire and Ice, and you're going to win a ticket for Infusion. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, hmm. article. She hates me now. Mm -hmm. You can hate me now. There you go. You really want an article. <laughs> <laughs> there we talk. I'm in a situation that has become overbearing, and some advice would be good. When I met my present boyfriend, I already had my two kids and living with the father of my last child. Things weren't going well in my relationship as my baby father was cheating and very was very deceptive. I found a shoulder to lean on, someone who listened and gave me the motivation I needed. And somehow, we ended up getting involved. When my baby father was out messing around, I was getting my own comfort from my friend. Yeah. To me, it wasn't revenge, but a means of keeping my sanity. Plus, I was a side chick. I am me. Eventually, my baby daddy and I broke up, mm -hmm. and playing the chick role was quite fine as I was getting in love. I, I was getting the love, rather, affection and attention like needed plus he understood me eventually he and his girlfriend broke up and we've been together outright for five years now oh, yeah, me. the past two years i've started seeing a side seeing a side of him i never saw coming he's a liar yeah ding 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 wake up welcome yeah world of men some simple <laughs> unnecessary lies that has no basis. He even lied about being detained by police for a weekend. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Only to find out that he was elsewhere at a wedding. Yeah. At a what? A wedding. He was visiting the wedding? He was just a guest at the wedding? A guest at the wedding, I guess. Not the groom? No. Oh, I'm frightened. Okay, it's <laughs> killing me softly because he's well aware of my history. After five years, my kids have grown onto him and we're both in our 30s and I am more mature now. So no time for games. What must I do? Where do you see this going? I'm confused. <laughs> wow. Ouch. Hmm. I, I think... One of the things that, that has happened is what many women don't see coming, and probably some men too, where we enter something and for some strange reason we feel that whatever used to happen previously, we are immune to it happening to us. And we find that we enter and things seem perfect and things seem good. And what happened with somebody, not, not that you must go into the relationship thinking that, oh, yes, he's going to do the same thing to me as he did before, or she'll do the same thing to me as she did before. That's not a good um, way to go in. But let us face the reality. 
if it happened once before with somebody else, the possibility exists that it can happen to us. I'm not one of those girls who's going to say, oh, my guy will never cheat on me because I got a good guild and I got the... Mark, you, I, might, I might have got, I might got that. <laughs> but I'm never going to sit and say, oh, he's not going to oh, this God. and he's not going to that because trust me, I'm not naive like that. I prefer to tell myself, say, he might do it or I could do it than tell myself that he's not. Because at the end of the day, when it hits me, at least I could say to, I'm going to say to myself, you know what? I didn't know that that bastard was doing it all along. Anyways, I have a caller on the 954. Hello, caller. Good night. Cleo, the girl I own. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Send me to school, brother. Send me to school. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dance. Hey. Is, is, that, is that simple equation here, you know? Yes. My, my, girl ready to, my girl ready to move on to the next level. He is not. Hmm. Clearly. Yeah. So. Wrong investment I, I, she made, right? Eh? She made a wrong investment. No, I wouldn't say so. Oh, as I figured she, you would. No, no. As, as she has more weight, no, I, I, I exercise more patience. Oh, okay. No, it's 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 it, it, it's um it's poignant as you mention the word investment. <laughs> you see? Because you are no. Uh-huh. Yes, my girl who write letter um, went 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 to, went to great length to mention that um, the the new guy she was a, she, she was a, she was a side chick at one time when she entered the relationship. Oh yeah, right. And nice. then she said that 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 relationship break up. Uh-huh. And, and, and she and she mentioned I said, oh no no no. She mentioned there's no there's no no her boyfriend, her baby father did that did that cheat on her. Mm-hmm. So she, so she, so she got into this new relationship, and she claims that it is no revenge. She not, she was not taking no revenge. Mm-hmm. No, clear. If she, if she feels need to mention that another letter, I mean, I mean, not that we that it, you know. If she mentioned that another letter, then no, that alone arose, arose suspicion. Mm-hmm. She must have been for revenge. Or else, why, why, why even mention it? Why mention it? Because she knows that men like Dandan will be thinking that she did, so she had to make it clear. <laughs> no, 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 no clear. No, don't um, say no. It, remember, there are exceptions to every rule, but, Dandan. Remember that. No, no, but <laughs> but what I know. There if are she, exceptions, if, Dandan. If she if she has no guilt about it, don't mention it. Dandan, do not sit there and judge, because, my darling. Because, don't judge this no, woman. No, because, because in a, in it's not, it not that important. Don't judge the woman. What is important to her might not be to you. Don't you do that. That's not right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, 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 am go- I am going with what, what is normal here. All right. What is the, <laughs> who determines what is normal, Dan Dan? Uh, good one, sir. Good one. Normal is in the eye of the beholder, sir. Jesus. <laughs> All right. But the bottom line is. Yes. My man are ready yet. My brethren are ready yet. Clearly. And, 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 and they are signed because, um, and, and they are signs why, why, why he's not ready yet. You know, he, he, he's comfortable with, 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 with where they are now. He might get, he might get things on fringe benefit and he can't move up on him, you know, on him weekend. But look here now. He, he misses that whole weekend, you see? Mm-hmm. And, he, and, he, he, and he had to lie to her. No. Now, now, now I, try, I try to illustrate for that program, you know. Everything, everything will happen, you know. The most important question behind what happened it is why, 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 why. So why do you think you he lied to her? All right. Just Apart like, from being a liar. Why do you feel the feeling of when somebody? Why? So I get into the, to, the, to this meet and all. Why? Because obviously... In the feeling can come to her up front and say, Me go yes, I go yes, I go yes. Never lie to her. So, 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 so there's something that he himself might be afraid of that, um, that she might be bringing to the table. And it couldn't be that he can tell her anything because she opens up for him to tell her anything, but because the old lion boy won't go wedding with some other woman, him can't tell us him I got wedding. That couldn't no, be the case, but, but, Dan Dan. No. 
Clear, clear. May I ask you a question, Bassi? That couldn't be the case, no. too. All couldn't right. that be the that case, be the sir? Okay, that could, that could be the case. So why but, are you ruling it but out? The, but, the, but, the, but the bottom line is, the bottom line is, in no feel comfortable with her enough so he can tell her anything. So which true. woman, hold on you know, which hold on you know, which woman are going to be okay with the man coming to tell her, dear, I have a wedding to go to this weekend. Number one, the average man or woman who gets a wedding invitation, and I did say the average, not every one of them, but the average man who gets an invitation gets it to come with his spouse. So if me and you are man and woman and we live a yard, yeah, and you got one wedding, you can't carry me, the ch and you can't even tell me say I got a wedding, the chances are you're a old liar boy, and as many as you want care, I got a wedding. So you can't tell me. It could very well be that she him can't talk to her for true. I mean, bash what you say. But it's also possible that the man no say if him tell any sensible woman that a judgment upon him. So him can't tell her that. Right. You have to hide it. All right, clear. <laughs> clear. In, in, that, in that letter, say, you know, it also mentioned that um, him know a lot about her, right? Mm, Correct? listening. Yeah, she, she indicated indic that I'm done to her and that him know a lot about her. Yeah, no. because he was her shoulder to rest on when she was in trial and tribulation and going through a rough time. So he knew everything. Yeah. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but so, so in, 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 in knowing a lot about her and knowing everything about her, somehow going to this wedding might be connected to her. You're so really, about, about Dan, Dan. Life, you know? <laughs> you're really <laughs> stung there. Take that? the woman problem <laughs> and I can twist the woman's stress. <laughs> I talk about the woman. Uh, um, there must be some relation to, between why you can't. You're too out of order, Dan, Dan. But, Don't but, use but, the woman's weakness. But, but, but. Don't use the woman's weakness for your strength. Don't do it. <laughs> Clear. You're not, you're not, you're not understand life, you know. I understand and, life. And, Believe and, me, I do. No, man. So well, if all, hold on, and I, and I, so you're telling me that oh, the only possibility here is that this man who was there being her shoulder, and to the point where he took her in as main woman, yeah, all he knew then about her still made him take her in as his main woman. But all of a sudden now, he my go one wedding, and I ain't know about her from what kill Philip. I got be the reason why he can't tell us I got the wedding. That is nonsense. No, in, in the, the taker, in the taker, all right, it, it, with, with, it, it, it's not conclusive that in the taker taking her as a mean, as a mean woman, you know. It, what, is, what is conclusive is that the, that the, woman, the girl in the, in the upper floor, she gone. But that means that right now, new, my girl is a mean woman. That doesn't mean that. It's suggested there, Dan Dan. It is suggested. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it is suggested. We can it's infer. It is suggested, it is suggested, it is suggested in, 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 a, in, a her, in a her world. But with, with a show that that's the case, that, 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 that is it's, it's in his world. So let us say now, we don't know his is, is world. That, is that what we don't know his world, but hypothetically speaking, it would seem as if, because they're probably together and they're probably living together now, it would suggest, right. it would suggest to us that she is now the main person. Because if she feels that way, chances are, Dan Dan, he has given her some feeling as such. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, needless to say, she is the quote-unquote main girl. Come on. So, I'm saying, if all he knew about this woman did not make him say to himself, boy, you know what? Me I keep her as side chick, you know. Me can't take her in as a main squeeze, you know, because me not feel that way about her. I me know this about her. I know that about her. Why didn't those variables help him to make a decision before he took her in? Now you're with the woman. They have a child together, right? No. Okay, he took her in, and they're now together in their thirties, yada yada yada. And you're telling me that all of a sudden, no, this dude won't go wedding, and the only thing we are stopping from telling us is my God, the wedding. I hardly think that's the case, honestly. It's a possibility, but a very slim one. I think the dude yeah. won't carry some other side chick, some other new side chick. Yeah. No, he won't care because well, guess what? Him can't function with yeah. one girl. Yeah. He isn't a yeah. one burner. A wedding, we are clear. A wedding, a wedding is not necessarily a, 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 date, a date situation, a, a date opportunity, you know. Oh, come on. Right. The you, average you, you, person you, you, who goes to a wedding alone is a woman. The man who gets invited to a wedding normally takes his woman with him. Don't tell me nothing. Is, is that right? <laughs> I, 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 
No, sir. Yeah, listen to Cleo. I say, the average <laughs> single person who would go... Dan, Dan, you're going to find more yeah, women at a wedding than a man. Come on. Clear. You're going to find more women at a wedding, a wedding than no, a well, man. A, 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 a more a, a single wedding, women. Well, a wedding well, is somewhere... Well, not single, but well, alone. That's, that's something where you invite people. Yes. So, yes. you know... Well, Cleo, when last you go to a wedding? I'm going to one tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you see the one that you got tomorrow? I, I, I report, report us, report back to us next week. Yeah. Count, count the amount of man, I mean, you see. Who, All right. Who, 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 who did it by themselves without another woman? Hold on, man. That's, I'm not saying you don't have men who come to the wedding alone. I am trying to say to you, <laughs> if you're going to a wedding, a wedding, you're not getting married, you're going to a wedding as a guest, and you can't tell the woman you're with. You, cho you choose to be with and living with. You can't say to her, honey, well, um, daddy rule, invite me, I'm wedding, I'm going to go, I'm wedding. No, no, he's not, he's not living with her. He's not living with her. Dan, Dan. He did not say that. Dan, Dan, yeah. you, know, you, know, you know what, 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 what clear I miss about this wedding argument here? Yeah? You say, naturally, right, when people get invited to a wedding, they would normally expect to bring them, them spouse. Right? Yeah. Now, depending on the circumstance, this brethren get invited to a wedding, and more than likely, she wasn't a part of the invitation. And we know how women take wedding. Women take wedding yeah. like the boy at their first born. So, <laughs> exactly. really? Yeah. It easier for oh, a yeah, man. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's very expensive for me. You can't stay it here. It's easier for a man just come to so boom and say, boy, you know, so I get lock up for the weekend, moms. Look here. And an answer in no, phone. No, no, that's ridiculous. Dan, Dan. And an answer in phone, none at all. Please. You see me? Just to remind Dan, Dan, who is thinking that this man can't talk to this woman. This is the same man. <laughs> this is the same man who said, the same woman, rather, who said, I was getting the love, affection, and attention like needed. Plus, he understood me. Yeah? Right. So if him know yeah. the woman when they're with and know say okay. If no say the woman go and know for herself and come at the wedding. But, but One pe if she can't that's, go, that's, she does can't go. Because 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 you understand her, that's why no mention it. It's Aye. Like oh, give me a break. Aye. And if you understand say she, she wouldn't put up with the crap of him going with another woman to that wedding, saying so don't tell her neither. No. That's my take on it. No. That old liar boy. Dan Dan, smart your call. Yeah, smart your call. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Dan, in this, should I go to jail for and, you? And uh, we, 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 actually, we actually have a winner. It's Carla, right? Carla won the prize for... She, actually, she got both answers correct, which Cleo is going to be grieved about. And I told you, she's going to be... She's, she has won tickets for um, Fire and Ice and Infusion. So, Carla, me have your number. Me I'll link you directly. And make you know how you can claim a prize. Congratulations, love. So she got it correct. Can I have one of your tickets, Carla, please? The, the, Thank first, you. the first event is Fire and Ice, and the last event is Frosted. So she got it right. So I'm going to link you, Carla. Link me for one ticket, here, Carla. Yeah. Real <laughs> talk. Um, we have a call on the 954. Good night, Carla. Good night, Carla. Hi, how are you doing, darling? Nothing much. The liar boy, I'm the woman in my car with me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Hey, me think you're asleep in a god no. Me just wake up and I text and me just wake up. Yes. Me and daddy, the flu lit me down the whole holiday. Me just want to survive from it. Oh, mama. Yeah. So, me wake up. The liar boy got to me. Yes, ma'am. One guy jail. Should I go to jail for two? Okay. Hey, jam. Ah, yes. I'm telling you the truth, you know. You know, say, I'm going to cut the sitting shot. I won't let more light than that in tell for truth, man. What I'm going to cut the shot. Hey, I'm telling you the truth. I say, when I see the light, I have to really wonder to myself, why, 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 I'm tell them a liar. Yeah, I'm a liar, the boy, a liar. I'm a liar. Hey, lion teeth walk. 90% hey. of men who get invitation to a wedding, they're invited to take their family or their spouse. If I even want a person with them, true, true. Yeah. If I even, them and them partner, come and learn are married. 
Then now I'm going to get for going with partner. I need to admit to the girl, say, my girl, we need to like you. I said, well, she's like a boy, I know that woman. I need to go now with Nida. I could do my yard in there. Yo. Why that too? So, boy, get locked up. Exactly. You know what you get locked up by a boy. And guess what? You probably um, never got away for two years, seriously, you know? Me tell you the truth, people. Me, me, me all know how you get catch to, you know. Same thing. Say you never get um, locked up, you know. About, uh, about, um... Must say a year or so after one one next sitting come up, you know. And he go say, boy, I don't know nothing about no jail, yeah, man. So, <laughs> and I saw him and give himself. I was <laughs> elsewhere <laughs> at a wedding. Yeah, I saw him give himself. I don't know nothing about no jail. <laughs> Some of the argument come up and he go give himself. He never need to tell no lie. He never need to tell no lie. You yeah, got a wedding, you, she can't come, she just can't come. Only a dumb woman would not understand that. Exactly. So, as something else, the boy of the of his sleeves. Yeah, I go somewhere else and I went down and I went down. But, 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 hear me, I say now. Hear me, I say now. One little one lie. One. Right? I mean, you know, five years and your kids, and your kids, you know, take a, take a liking to him. Mark, you have two different baby daddy you have already and everything, and that, that, that little man in her thirties. No, no, me no, me, 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 me not even sure him with a room this is still now, but, you know, me think he's a, he's a good youth. He just have a little problem, pro, problem with, in tongue a little bit too. Heavy. <laughs> all right. I think all right. He's just a liar. He's just a liar. I need to speak. Shadow. Truth. He, you know, speak no truth. He's a liar. But charm. Yeah. M- more, t- more time on the line of questioning cars with a lie still, you know. Oh, jeez. Here they go. You see, everything you men blame us for. <laughs> no, I don't All li- their wrongs, no, charm, man. they blame us for no, all man. the time. M- more time on the line of questioning, not That's even necessary. That's why I tell you, ladies, get some toys. On the line of asking a question more time. And if you don't ask a question, we don't have to tell you no lie. I'm going to tell the woman like, but he said, I'm going to jail and then they never, they never lock him up and dash with the key. That's right. That's what should I do. Lock him up and dash with the key. I'm going to tell petty life is foolish. Me. You yes. have asked me that chick can have that type of problem. You have a next chick. True. And as Dan Dan said, he's just not ready. She needs to wake, wake yeah. up and see that. He's just not ready. Move right along. Yeah. Yeah, how about that woman? And you know what? The girl, the girl, so stupid, but the girl has, no, no, the girl has, has put everything together. She realized that they must be somebody else. It's a petty lie that you go to a wedding and you go tell me to have a wedding, you go, you go tell me to get locked up. Come on. <laughs> no, Carla. All right, Charmy. Thank you, darling. <laughs> All, right, All right, until next week. All right, let's see what Carla says here. My friend got, well, Carla says, any man... Um, she's he's not bashing her, but what goes around comes back around. As mm, <laughs> and earlier she said that as long as you're in a relationship, at some point in time, money have to come into play, and every woman need money. Amen to that. <laughs> no man that cheat will be honest, and she said that twice. My friend got an invitation for a wedding, and when his baby mother saw the invitation, it, it, he said it wasn't for her, it's for him. Yeah. Because the person didn't invite her. Not Reason tall. being because he wanted to take his side chick. I mean, if you tell you, all oh, lie at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Denisha from St. Thomas leads all for a... Uh, oh, <laughs> Oh, him tongue. Him tongue, tongue too, too light. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big up the knees and the Nisha. All right, from Lethal in, in St. Fort, Tom- yes. Yeah. That's St. Thomas? Yeah, Fort. Right. All right. Um, any more text messages? Uh, Mansa, I burned me up for something I said earlier, I guess. Mm. No. In terms of um, what? What's the letter? What he should? What she? What she should do? Yeah. Should do. Well, it's really for her to decide if she can cope with all them. Because I know, like, I want one, as I said, I want like one lie, you know. Well, and I want to see a serious lie that just still, you know. You, you really just discredit everything he tells you. So you have to really sit down and decide, you no, know, you're seeing sides to this man that you're young, right? You're seeing sides to this man that you can't cope with. You're going to sit there and mope the rest of your life. 
try and see how well you can get help for each with for your relationship. If it now work, it does have to call it a day because there comes a time when enough is just enough. She know she mature and she wants to get rid of these you know these upper games. She's not a time for no games and this man are clearly a play some upper game. Football I'll let Bali play. Basketball and all these mm. things. It, it, it can't continue like that. What must I do? Where do you see this going? I'm confused. I can't say to you that he doesn't care and that he doesn't want the relationship. I would never say that. But again, you have to assess, because you know more than we know, right, based on the letter. You have to assess where the pros and the cons. Is, is X, Y, Z to me. I feel A, B, and C about him. He makes me feel this particular way. The way that, as opposed to the lies he tells, how that makes you feel, how he acts when you point it, point it out to him. Is he trying to do any better? You know, all of that. So if you weigh both sides and see where you can't deal with it, then you have to make a decision as to whether you're going to stay or you're going to go. If you can try and work around it and you feel like you can cope with him lies and whatever, whatever, then you work it out. But if not, then darling, it's really gonna be a case where she went off and decided she's gonna stay with him or leave him. And as the girl said earlier on, what goes around really and truly come right back around. Marcia says, please tell me, or at least explain to me why this young miss is thinking she's confused. We ladies need to understand and open our eyes as soon as the tongue starts twisting with the lies coming. I don't blame you, though. We don't need to ask questions because you men can't hide from us. As soon as you men fall in trap, the truth is revealed before we open our mouth. So she's seeing all of this. Darling, decide. I cannot live and be with a man who repeatedly is just lying. He's a pathological liar. You have lies and you have lies <laughs> and there's a difference okay so you decide honey i can't tell you what which to choose because how this man makes you feel how this man treats your child and all of that plays a very important part in your decision making process that's one thing i tell her that's bill <laughs> yeah <laughs> two-sided <laughs> you know what I mean everything's smooth <laughs> man everything jiggy just go on just, oh, you boy. know it, it, I, I tell you something it is evident to some extent that things was probably better off when she was a side chick I'm if it tell you you know so well, I, 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 I just part it uh, you know and <laughs> but I don't know if I said either you should have to make up her mind what she really want to, and, and, and what's important Hmm. So, you know, make us see how this play out in the next couple of whenever. Oh, she expect him to treat her better when she was his side chick. Some side chicks get first place and get good treatment, darling. Not all of them do, unfortunately. Anyways, we are out of time. Yep. And I tell you, on so it's Marcia, right? Yes. It's Marcia that that one. Yep. So Marcia, I'm gonna contact you after after the after the show, and we will work out the details how we can make her get here. Your tickets, right? All right. Congrats, Marcia. All right, and do enjoy. No, but I congratulate her, you know, because you had a fight against her, you know. And that I man making you know, you know, you know, no, no, you know, oh, no, 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 no. you know, 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 and link me, you hear my girl? Yeah, so we can have fun <laughs> over here together. No, no, no matter with that. No matter with that. <laughs> Marcia, not pay me no mind. All right, guys, uh, let me just say, go on out where there is something that you can enjoy. Relax a bit, enjoy life a little bit, yeah? Um, chill, be good to yourselves, treat yourselves, because tomorrow really, really is promised to no man. Yep. Love yourself more, than, more today than you did yesterday, and less than you love yourself for tomorrow. All right? And of course, Lady Cleo will be having a whole lot of fun tomorrow at this... I just love me some weddings.